Switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month. And that's huge, but it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. So maybe you're self-employed or part of the gig economy, or you just want a plan you're much happier with. Here's the number you need. 844-53-BIBLE. That's 844-53-BIBLE. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Ruff, ruff. Uh, look out. Uh, it's only me. It's only the Kimmer. The Pete Davis, sidekick producer, sports wreck on tour extraordinaire, and the mechanical mangler at the controls. It's Flounder watching his testimony about these traitors to America. God. The day I was born. Unbelievable. The yeah, retired general testify on Afghanistan exit. How come they're not testifying from behind freaking bars? Let me just ask you that. Just a little simple question. Uh, how come you weren't busted down to freaking private, General Silly Millie? You Mr. Freaking Pronoun and Pedicure King. How come you're not behind bars as a busted down freaking buck private breaking rocks? I figure for, oh, I don't know, maybe 18, 22 years, something in that area. God, oh my. And there's a Marine general, too. Shame on you. In fact, I think he admitted shame on him. I think I, I think I remember him testifying some point recently that he said, not recently, months ago, I think, or t- I told somebody somewhere that it was the worst thing he's ever done. He's ashamed of himself. And uh, yeah, well, no kidding. And by the way, both those guys who are testifying in this hearing right now are both in civilian clothes, even though they have the right to wear a uniform as retired members of the military. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, and often, yeah, but you know they're showing up in civilian clothes. And by the way, they're blaming the State Department. And also, uh, there's almost no news on the major wire services about the hearing. There is now. It started to come. Oh, oh, I, I, so I have been going on for hours. Mm. Anyway, Aisha. Oh, she, Aisha, Aisha. <laughs> yeah, they, they put too much makeup on these girls. But makeup, man. God. Anyway, how you doing? Kimmer here and Pete and Flounder. And we love phone calls. Uh, our number is 404-741-1230. i am going to try not to yell and scream because that's stupid and I'm an idiot. And, uh, you know, and I'm an idiot. Um, uh, but we will uh, react to this thing with a silly Millie. You'll hear a couple of uh, some comments, stuff like that. We'll, we'll, uh, the hearing, it's a House Armed Services Committee talking about testifying with these generals about this incredible Afghanistan exit. And again, they're not going to get to the bottom of anything. They, in fact, we heard earlier, well, I, I, well let, let's set the day, and then we'll, we'll come back and talk about this as one of the major things. Uh, coming up today, we have Flounder's Funnies. We have Pete's Tweets. We have, uh, do we have an AI thing today? Man, there's always something, but probably not. Really. I don't know about today. Yeah, I, well, in fact, you know, I, I was reading one thing. There's a new, another AI robot. And it's supposed to be so good that it can do things that humans can do, right? physically jumping and sitting and stuff like that. I'm telling yeah. you, within five years, we will have the Rosie the Robot that the Jetsons had because they can all already chase us. Yeah. They can jump backwards. They can fall down and get back up. So why not be a butler? Well, I, I would also assume... Because they'll be able to read our minds and just well, <laughs> whatever we need. Well, I mean. but, but I, I, it would seem to me that they can't be very far away if they have... If now you can talk into your... You can call Siri and say, Siri, tell me the weather and now... Albuquerque, and she'll tell you. So yeah, if that technology in a robot, you could say to your robot, you could sitting on your couch watching TV or something, you could say, um, uh, schnick snack, call your robot schnick snack, uh, fetch me a beer and uh, put on the hors d'oeuvres. And she would be able to go and know what that means. They would have an AI app, an algorithm, and she would know, go to the refrigerator, get the beer, open the cap, and then bring and then go we, put the hors d'oeuvres on. We have taught dogs to go to the fridge, right. open it, and bring a beer back. Well, there you are. So the, this, I mean, the next thing is going to be, you know. She's not going to answer the schnick snack. Well, I, I, I was going to say a girl. Standards. I was going to say a girl's name, and then I thought, well, that would be pretty cruel. It would be, well, I'm, I was going to say a different girl's name. <laughs> I was going to make it personal. And I to be nasty and snide, and, I, and I'm not going to be nasty and snide today because I had one of the most sweetest experiences last night leaving this radio station. <laughs> and now I'm not going to tell you. 
<laughs> Shut up, 307. Uh, did you untie her afterwards? Or? I, yeah. By the way, Flounder, how are you doing? I, are, is he in there? I don't even know if he's, he's there. in there. I see him. I'm here. I, 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 <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> he's come out of his like hibernation. Like anybody would know. They, <laughs> In fact, I just put a video on YouTube and my uh, Kim Peterson Facebook page or the camera. What's my Facebook page? That's your Kelly's personal page. Or the it's a page on Facebook of <laughs> oh, which you have your mind. name. It's not what I meant. <laughs> I don't even know the name of my own. It's either Kim. The, I don't know whether it's the, the Kim, Kim Peterson. I think it's the Kimmer Show. Don't no, the Kimmer on Facebook. The Kimmer Show is what got us. Kim, that's what got removed. So, right, so it's just your it's personal just page, Peterson, which is Kim, Kim Peterson, Peterson or yes. the Kimmer. I don't even no, know. No, it's Kim Peterson. Kim, okay. Anyway, so I put on that and on YouTube a video I just took in the studio right before we came on today with uh, <coughs> Mr. Co-host over here, the sports rack on tour, with a with a water bottle standing on the top of his bald head. And I didn't know for a moment it was a thing, but apparently it is. And so I did a little video. And then it also, on my stinking phone, does your phone, I, I, I'm not, I, okay, it's a fairly new, in fact, it is a new phone. It's not the, the late, it's like, it's not the i19, it's the i17 or whatever. The, what's, what's newer more? than mine. Yeah, it's new. It's fairly, it's, it's almost brand new. It is brand new. Anyway, and all of a sudden, if I'm taking videos with, without doing anything, it suddenly zooms in. Not all the way in, but it zooms in closer than where I've started. I, I don't get it. And, I, and you'll see, if you go to the video, you go to YouTube, or however we get... What they, if they want to go to YouTube and watch this uh, stupid radio show, what do they, what do they, where do they go? YouTube and then look up at the camera show or what? What, what do they do? Uh, he's not in, he left, he's gone. I can't tell if he's in right there. I was here. talking to him, he's not even there. How do, how do they go on YouTube and watch the show? <laughs> if somebody listening now wants to watch on YouTube, what they, do they do? They just, they just go to YouTube and... And in the search field, type in the Kimmer Show. The Kimmer and, Show. And okay, the link will was, come up, and then that's you, what I was asking. Yep, the Kimmer Show. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, so you'll see, uh, and you'll and you'll thing in the thing, and I. Another forgot. easy way is you can go to our website, which is thekimmershow.net, and there's a link to all of our to whether you want to go to YouTube, Rumble, my books. Even Pete's better. books, there Amazon links, all there yeah. at KimmerShow.net. Yeah. In fact, I was going to do a, a book signing, uh, a book signing this weekend, and I realized I don't have a book. <laughs> Want to borrow one of mine? <laughs> I'm going to do one of your books. <laughs> Just cross my name a book, out. A book signing for Pete's book. <laughs> yeah, I'll sign it for you. <laughs> yeah, the giver's doing a book signing. Yeah, whose book is he going to sign? Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I just said I was gonna, yeah, bring whatever book you want. I just said I was going to sign it. I'm like, some yeah, of my, didn't some say it's mine. Well, it's my book. I bought it. I got, I've got, it. About, I've got <laughs> about 20. I got 20 or 30 Stuart Woods from paperback. This is <laughs> <Lee> child. <laughs> Michael Connolly. <laughs> bring those to the uh, to the remote. Oh, now is that set? Is that, is, should we even say anything? Or is, or is this too early or what? Uh, it's still confirming, so not oh, yet. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, good Lord. Anyway, okay. Well, we'll talk about... The, and, and by the way, if the hearing comes back in live, I'm going to it. Uh, the hearing uh, with these uh, generals on the Afghan withdrawal, I, I I can't believe they're not covering it live again on Fox. They're talking now about... Well, the other big story... A couple, well, there were major big stories. The hearing also just in a few minutes ago, in case you missed the 3 o'clock news, the United States Supreme Court has ruled that Texas, at least temporarily, can continue to block and arrest... Illegal invaders coming across the border, protect their border. Right now, and now, uh, unfortunately, it's not permanent because they only block. They allowed Texas to keep going while the lawsuit works its way through the courts. So the, the people against Texas, like the Biden people, the administration ha hates America, including the state of Texas in particular, tried to block them from doing it. And the courts said, "No, no, they can do it while the court case goes through the courts. So at least you can do it for a while, probably a long while, but but who knows." Anyway, so that's a big news story, and all, and a bunch of Trump stuff too. Good lord! And I mean, if you, you know, if you if you were to add up all the things that have happened to Donald Trump in the last couple of years, the lawsuits, and now the and now we can't find no bonding company is going to be giving the half a billion dollars for. I mean, this is outrageous. A woman, a, a woman who claims uh, he raped her and he was found not guilty of raping her and possibly fondling her, and he's got to pay her ninety million dollars. I mean, it's, it's, it's the whole world's gone crazy, and all these things again, and he's still got the other court cases, ninety six felony counts. I mean, this is just outrageous, and there's more. In today, the judge said, "No, we're not going to do this, and you can't do." It. I mean, it's just—I I, honestly, I would—I would have had her killed. <laughs> I mean, it, it would be wrong, and I'm not advising it. I'm just saying that's why I'm not a role model. Okay, well, let's put all that sentence together. Make sure you put the whole last part of the part on there. God, oh, uh, President Stupid Face uh, has another granddaughter. He forgot to mention. <clears throat> 
That's uh, great. I bet he's got the stocking up for the dog already for Christmas, though, even though he almost had it. I think, didn't he send it out to the farm to be killed or something? How much he likes to touch like he likes Americans. <laughs> it's living on a farm, playing yeah. with his friends. All of his friends from long... <laughs> Upstate, somewhere. Yeah, we'll go visit. Yeah, <laughs> next vacation trip. Oh, God. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, I mean, the freaking Bachelor was on last night, and I, I can't... I'm going to be too upset about this thing if we go back to the hearing. Uh, but the Bachelor was on, and like an idiot, idiot, idiot this morning... I, I, I couldn't watch it all because it was on until 11. Or, I, I, I was, yeah, it was 9 to 11. I, I, so I finished watching this morning. And then like an idiot, I got up at 5.15 to start doing my daily stuff so I could finish watching the stupid Bachelor TV show. Okay? So finally I take a break for like 40 minutes, finish watching The Bachelor. And then like a complete numbskull, I happened to Google The Bachelor 2024. First sentence, who won? And The Bachelor's not over. It's next week he picks his winner. Of the two girls he chose, and I now, I now I know the end. I know the winner, and I so I now, no, no, no. Before now, now if you're, I'm going to talk about the bachelor later, but I'm not going to reveal the winner. Although I'm really ticked off at myself. <laughs> what an idiot! Who's I mean, the winner? I, I don't want to say because people are, who are, are listening to oh, me yeah, right now. Yeah, because I know our audience is just diehard. Well, uh, no. I, <laughs> now doesn't Miss Veronica watch the Bachelor? Uh, she doesn't sometimes. listen to this show. What? She's working, so she wouldn't be listening right yeah, now. She's but. not listening to this show. Well, that she's smart. She's girl. a good looking young woman. Why <laughs> would she, she, she listens when she can at work, but I mean, a lot well, of times I she's still, in if, if somebody would, I mean, I hate to, I, I don't want to ruin her thing because it's on next week. Next week is the ending, and so we'll find out. But I'm telling you, don't Google it because it's, I couldn't, it, it should have said spoiler yeah. alert or put it down five paragraphs into the story. <laughs> it says like the first line. Well, congratulations to an. Ah, ah, ah. If yeah. I had an electron microscope right now... <laughs> to look into my brain or what? No, to, to look at the molecules that surround an atom. I still could not find my interest in The well, Bachelor. <laughs> are you talking about it? <laughs> well, luckily, you're only the producer. <laughs> the Bachelor. Yeah, producer. What are this. you? 314. Yeah, I'm in a Bachelor's. I don't, I'm not... I'm gonna, yeah. Whatever. 314. Do you even like women yeah, anymore? I, no, I don't. I don't. Exactly. That's the case. I don't. I, they're, you know, they have cooties and they lie. Girls lie and they have cooties. I'm saying I'm, that's just a story. And, you know, if she's hot, you can't keep her. You'll never keep If she's hot, you'll never keep her. I'm just, that's it. Well, who wants to keep them? Well, I, uh, you know, silly me. <laughs> now, you know, I should have figured that out 29 years ago. <laughs> Three fifteen. What leashes are for. Come repeat and flounder. Yo, thank you. Really there for me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> The Kimmer Show is only on Extra 106.3 every weekday afternoon on your drive home. When you hear Jamie Raskin and Chuck Schumer and Morning Joe saying, boy, uh, President Puke Face is as good as he's ever been the best Biden ever and claiming that Trump's a Nazi and all this stuff, they know that that's not true. The bottom line is it's hard to really believe that they want you to be deceived about the nature of your own country. The Kimmer Show, every afternoon from 3 to 6 p.m. on Extra 106.3 and the Extra app. Hey, it's Front Office Lowe's for Howard Brothers. Howard Brothers has everything for your yard. Lawnmowers, string trimmers, edgers, chainsaws, chippers, shredders, edge trimmers, handheld and backpack blowers, real mowers, rotary mowers, sprayers, pressure washers, compact tractors. The list goes on and on. And they sell the best premium brands that will last and not frustrate you when you're ready to use them. Now with seven locations around town. Alpharetta, Athens, Dallas, Dorothy, Duluth, Lula, and Oakwood. Why go anywhere else? Howard Brothers has everything for your yard. Is the tax deadline causing you anxiety? Searching for elusive 1099s and trying to uncover any exemptions? If so, you're not alone. Every year, Georgians find themselves looking backwards to file with the IRS, reporting tax history. But what if you were to flip the script? Not just report your taxes, but actually planning for them. We're Master Plan Retirement Consultants. We're local with offices in Marietta. We work with folks just like you to create a personalized, tax-efficient strategy designed to last a lifetime, a crucial piece to the holistic retirement plan. Do you have a retirement roadmap? You should. It's never too late. Visit MasterPlanRetire.com. Don't wait any longer. Visit MasterPlanRetire.com. 
Advisory services offered through Master Plan Retirement Consultants, Inc., a registered investment advisory in the state of Georgia. Insurance, tax, and commodity services offered through Frickson Associates, Inc., DBA Master Plan Retirement Consultants. The aforementioned are affiliated companies. No one plans on going to jail, but when it happens, it's important that you know who to call. Call A Second Chance Bail Bonds, where we believe everyone deserves a second chance. We handle bonds throughout Metro Atlanta, including from our newest offices in Cherokee County and Clayton County. In most cases, we can have you or your loved one out of jail in a matter of hours. A Second Chance. It's better to know us and not need us than need us and not know us. Call A Second Chance 24-7 at 770-627-3235 or online at atlbail.com. Hey, sandwich lovers, today is your lucky day. There's a whole new way to roll for lunch or dinner delight with Nucky's Hoagies in the Roswell Corners Shopping Center. Now open, Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell is family owned and operated by the subsisters, Stacy and Shannon, whose love language is food and Nucky's Hoagies, their passion. When you bite into a Nucky's Hoagie, you'll taste the difference. The softest hoagie rolls ever, along with hunger quenching sandwich combinations. Make Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell on Woodstock Road your new favorite spot for lunch or dinner. Hey there, it's Tara, owner and publisher of Our Town Monthly, where you'll find familiar faces, local voices, and community businesses like JRM Management. Thanks, Tara. I'm Missy Miller, event coordinator at JRM Management. We are your event specialist. We are excited to see you at the Georgia Food and Wine Festival, March 21st through the 24th. We'll have food, beverages, cooking demos, live music, shopping, and more. Or maybe you're looking for an event where you can bring the entire family. Join us at the Marietta Community Egg Hunt, Friday, March 29th, and the Northeast Cobb Community Egg Drop, Saturday, March 30th. There will be multiple egg hunts by age and lots of kid-friendly activities. Also, look out for the Kennesaw Big Shanty Festival, the Smyrna Spring Donkle Festival, and of course, the North Georgia State Fair. There's always something fun happening in our community, and we want you to know about it. That's why we love our partnership with Our Town Monthly. You are so right, Missy. If JRM is there, the fun follows. Friends, check out all the exciting community events hosted by JRM Management. And remember, Our Town is your town at Our Town Monthly. Monthly. Rough, rough. Uh, okay, that's twice we've had this rough, rough crap. What the hell's rough, rough? And I don't. And there's obviously a thing. It must be. A, it must be a freaking bed or some kind of a thing over and under on when the camera's going to say, "What the hell is a rough, rough? What did I win? How many two times? Yeah, I knew they were okay. First time I said, "Well, okay, I don't know what that's going on here." And I said, "Was probably just you know a flounder probably farting in there." That's all I knew. And now two and two and three. There you are. It's a marketing ploy that Uh, I thought of last year and then forgot about. So I thought of it last time. So what are we marketing? Basically, you know. you don't have Netflix, but yet you said had HBO, right? I have HBO and Showtime. What's before every HBO show? Uh, that really cool jingle. Yeah, yeah. And I Netflix like that says boom, boom. And what is it for Law and Order? Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, the door And every time that. you hear that noise, every yeah. time you hear any noise like it, you think of that Netflix okay. or HBO. So rough, rough is. So we're uh, gonna have a dog us? bark. A real. We're gonna have a real dog barking because <laughs> Flounder doing the rough, rough is funny, but it doesn't help. This with is the marketing. working title for now. Let's get Winston. I was thinking that that could be a big project. Yelling at the cat, maybe. <laughs> Screaming at bark. the cat might be funny. So anytime anyone's going around town during the day or night and their dog barks or they hear a dog bark, yeah. the first thing they think of that's... will be the Kimmer Show. Well, then 106.3 right there with the Kimmer Pete and Flounder. Well, that's how I'll be Cutting done. edge marketing. Right, we, we got the rough rough. Thank you. <laughs> No, 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 it was a wonderful... <laughs> but the funny thing... No, the funny I, I thing, want to demean the man. I mean, we've got all this trouble. We're going to get with Morning Joe and sneak it into the morning show. Well, you know, yeah, you know, we were just thinking, if they could only do for us what they do for the morning show, everybody'd be, you know... We'd you were thinking that. Page. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Don't include oh, Bob, me. Oh, okay, by the way, speaking of the morning show, our beautiful uh, AM uh, Adel, Adel, Adel attentive team, uh, I, I tugged the other day, God bless his heart, uh, maybe the nicest man you'll Ever, I, sh- I don't even want to be around him. It's just, it's. I'm afraid I'm going to ruin him just by walking by. You know, he's going. Uh, he's like a cooties or something with me. Anyway, it's very possible. Anyway, so so he was. He, he made a comment the other day about the stapler. Okay, we have a stapler in here. Where is my stapler? Here you go. A stapler. Uh, a stapler. And the other day it was jammed. Remember, you were in fact. Uh, were, uh, well, I, I, I went here. You weren't here. Anyway, it was jammed, and and so I couldn't get it. I, it didn't work, and so I went and got. I went to get the other stapler in the uh, supply room and brought that into the studio. So we at least we had a working stapler. Well, today I come in and the stapler is jammed. You weren't here for this one, and the stapler was jammed and it wouldn't work. It was all jammed around here, right? Jammed. It's jammed, and so I I unjammed it with my bare freaking hands. Thank you, what and then man. took out the uh, bent staple that was in the part where it was jammed with the part. 
apart there. And then I went into the supply room on my own time and found the right size staples to put in there. And by God, they're folding thing and it's perfect. Is there a payoff to this long and I tedious just to story? Show the kind of you know it's a, when they when they when they challenge. We answer because we're all part of this 1063. We are. We're, we're family. Oh, we're totally family. All right, now let's play the music again because I was going to talk about this guy here. Well, maybe I shouldn't because he's dead, you know. <laughs> this is Luther Inc. Well, actually, now it's great. You probably can't get it now because it's in the computer. Is that him? No, that's not no, that's John Bannon. Lennon or something. Isn't this it? is the Staples. <laughs> this oh, the Staples. Staple. Yeah, okay, he's got it. Uh, on this date, there's a flounder again, our musical director, and great appreciation for all this work. 2007, the soul singer Luther Ingram died from a heart attack when he was 69 years old. Luther Ingram. I'd forgotten about that. He had the 72 big hit, If Loving You Is Wrong, I Don't Want to Be Right. And Luther Ingram, who died on this day in 2007, wrote the Staples singer's hit you're hearing here, Respect Yourself. Luther, okay, so passing. Uh, let's see, uh, Kimmer birthday list includes uh, Eduardo Severin. Remember this name? 42 years old. The guy who helped create Facebook and then got shut out by Mark Zuckerberg, at least according to the social network. But don't worry about poor Eduardo Severin is now worth $27.5 billion. <laughs> uh, don't bother me, he's coding. Jeez. And now coding, which they told everybody yeah, you had to it's learn. A joke, yeah. A AI does it now. Yeah, you don't need anybody anymore. No. Uh, let's see. Do I have? Oh, here we go. History. This is kind of cool. 1981. We all remember the first Porky's movie was released in 1981. Sex in the City star Kim Cattrall played Miss Honeywell. Ooh. Get her up in the gym, the gym teacher. <laughs> Webster's mom Susan Clark played a stripper named Cherry Forever. <laughs> My dad loved that movie because it reminded him <laughs> when he was a kid. Really? Yeah. Well, I yeah, that was, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Eek, a bald-headed mouse. I don't know. Uh, 324. <laughs> by the way, your 3 o'clock hour is sponsored by our good friends at First Liberty Building and Loan. If you need financing to grow your business, visit firstlibertyga.com. And you'll be glad you did. 404-741-1230. Uh, I'm exhausted. I don't even know what I, I, where do we start. There's so much stuff going on here. Oh, birthday, birthday, Flounder! If you'll come in here, sir, we have like a, a, a triple prong here. And, and again, I said the staple was uh, was untaught me, so I stapled the uh, the uh, em and that envelope should be something. Oh, that's from Denise, our yes, friend, uh, podcast friend, and a listener, Denise, who's a very very Thank loyal you, listener. Uh, sent you a birthday card to me. Uh, the old Kimmer Media thing, and so I uh, posted it. And there's uh, the line. But uh, we got. Uh, well, uh, these are in Chinese. Oh, upside down, sir. Thank you. Uh, oh, and, oh thank no, you. it's a it's a it's a it's a cupcake. swirly cupcake thing with swirly mm, frosting chocolate? on it. Peanut butter chocolate. Oh, peanut my, butter chocolate. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Anyway, and those are your lottery numbers. I did not look at them. We need so, to look at them. Uh, I, I forgot. I, I looked this morning, but I forgot what the uh, key number was. Anyway, so but oh. you've got it in your uh, phone there. And the other thing is a, a taco. Oh, oh my God! Is this a burrito? Oh my God! It could be. It could be From something. Yesterday. It could be <laughs> a, a new Porsche. Oh, oh my God! Porsche. I got him a new Porsche. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! Oh my God! It's a, oh it's a, oh it's a studio Porsche. Oh no! Oh, I mean, like it's mine. Oh, oh, this is well. Nice. We knew you'd love it. We knew that it would be. Oh my gosh, it moves. The, do <laughs> the doors open. Look at that. Look at that. The doors open. Uh, here's your own little hot red Porsche. You go with your own. With my dark blue one. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, happy birthday. And by the way, again, I, the, when I put your birthday notice on on my Facebook page, that it, still people are talking about it. Yeah, a lot of uh, fans out there, Pete Davis. Uh, Three twenty-six already. God, I can't believe it. The Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. Four zero four seven four one twelve thirty. The Supreme Court it's made has... in China, by the way. Porsches are made in Germany. Well, I'll throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> and your Porsche will be good. That's thing, funny. You know? The Porsche, which is famous <laughs> being made in Germany, yeah, it's made in China. <laughs> it's made in China. <laughs> well, again, you know, here we are. I mean, you know, if if, if, if I wonder what would happen if we actually said, okay, no more Chinese stuff. Period. That's it. It's coming. Well, it's coming. Most things are going to be made in the future. Most things will be made in Mexico, uh, a little south of there, or here. Yeah, the manufacturing is coming back. Well, if they if they did it, if, if they, they really it pulled right. it off, yeah, if they really seriously pulled it off, we could do it. It would probably cost 
it'd probably be a real problem for a couple of years. But I, I mean, honestly, we could do this. Almost every major manufacturer of stuff is pulling out of China. Apple's it was so late; they're kind of stuck there right yeah. now. Uh, everybody else has pretty much left. Yeah, and uh, gone to Vietnam or other places like that. Southeast Asia is going to boom, but lot, China's is over. A lot more friendly places to help us make merchandise that isn't a communist government. So. Uh, uh, and they're good point. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there are and there are there are well more than our adversary. And if they're, they're not our enemy. They're so close to being. They're our not enemy. as pro business as they used to be. They're not as uh, frankly nice. That's why everybody left because they got scared of them. Well, Supreme Court said they will not stop Texas from enforcing border policies of their own. Uh, President Hate America uh, tried to freeze the judicial order allowing Texas law to take effect. Texas wanted to pass the law and did, authorizing the state to arrest people coming across the border illegally and giving local police officers long delegated power to the federal government. And the Supreme, the uh, Biden people who hate America uh, tried to get the Supreme Court to stop it. The Supreme Court said, no, we're going to let the court case go through. So for the, for the time being, at least, they can stop them. Now... Today on my phone, as I was exploring things to talk about today on the radio, I found this from X, formerly, uh, what do you call it, Twitter. Twitter. Libs of TikTok. Biden's border bloodbath. Again, Donald Trump, the word bloodbath all day yesterday. They're still doing it again today. They're com- once again calling him a Nazi and everything else. Libs of TikTok. Biden's border bloodbath. Picture of two of a little girl and an illegal invader. Andy Lynn Blair. Her life was cut short by Biden's border bloodbath. Deborah Brandau. Another picture of a young woman, mother of two young girls. Her life was cut short by Biden's border bloodbath. Libs of TikTok. Aiden Clark. Her life was cut short by Biden's border bloodbath. He was a little boy, baseball little league player. Libs of TikTok. You know what the real bloodbath is? It's illegals invading our country and committing murder. Remember their names. Lake and Riley, Christopher Gadd, Elizabeth Medina, Melissa and Reardon Powell, David Hadrich, Cindy Golding, Cheston Edwards, Deborah Brando, Nazareth Tamer Clower. In Biden's world, these are acceptable losses. He knows American citizens no longer support him, so he tossed them and brought in new friends. Mm -hmm. Biden with a bloody red hand on top of the B-I-D-E-N. Libs of TikTok. I mean, that's the story. That's it. That's the story. By the way, that's a new, is that a great logo? Wow. Bloody red hand for the E. B- Spell Biden with blue letters, B-I-D-N, and then the E is a bloody red hip hop. They, they don't care about The Democrats don't care about Americans anymore. This is they're outrageous. bringing in their replacements. Our it's, replacements. Yeah, that's right. It, it, you know, they thought it was a conspiracy theory. Well, you're seeing it. Seven million of them. Okay, here's how close you got. We got 10, and then you had 18, they had 17, we had 19, they had 20. Ah! <laughs> this story. But it's now up to like $800 million or something next time, probably. Anyway, happy birthday. 3.30, come repeat and flounder. It's Tuesday, man. We got so much more. Look out. <laughs>
you want to love the service. We'll check that box for you also. Because during the spring sales event, there's a lot to love. So stop in during the Subaru A Lot to Love event, and you'll find just that, a lot to love. Start your shopping online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com and find the ride that best suits you. Because love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Subaru of Gwinnett, Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, and online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com. Spring is in the air, and it may be time to give your home or business a facelift. Nothing improves the beauty of your property like new flooring. Jim Niarco is here from the All Four Seasons Home Show, and this Saturday morning at 9, our guest will be Dean Howe of Moda Floors and Interiors. Dean will be sharing his knowledge to help you make the right choice. Carpeting, towel, wood, or laminate. These are important decisions. Dean Howe from Moda Floors and Interiors on the All Four Seasons Home Show right here on 106.3. Lee Brandt Jewelry and Watch Company, where quality and value make the difference. Locally owned and located in Sandy Springs, offering you the finest selection of unique diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emerald jewelry, as well as other fine gemstones. Lee Brandt Jewelry and Watches has been servicing Rolex watches for over 30 years, and their Rolex-trained watchmaker will service your watch in their state-of-the-art Rolex service center in their store. Lee Brandt uses only genuine Rolex parts, and their estimates are free. Drop by Lee Brandt in the Trader Joe's Shopping Center in Sandy Springs, or visit LeeBrandt.com. Introducing Sonder Health Plans, your trusted local partner for Medicare Advantage in Georgia. Only in Georgia. With Sonder, you'll get comprehensive coverage that's tailored to your needs. They offer $0 primary care visits, $0 premiums, and access to a wide network of Georgia health care providers. Visit SonderHealthPlans.com now to learn more about their valued-based care that won't break the bank. Or call 888-428-4440. Sonder Health Plans, your doctors, your neighbors. Neighbors, your friends. Join a Second Chance Bail Bond CEO Daniel Madelon and host Tug Coward for the weekly radio show Back Your Blue. They will highlight special initiatives, criminal justice programs, and community events aimed at keeping our communities safer. Tune in Saturdays at 10 a.m. to learn some good news about and from the law enforcement and justice communities. Tune in on Saturdays or catch up on all past episodes wherever you get your podcasts or at thepodcastpark.com. I don't like that part of it, but it's a sweet sound, but I don't like that part. Too whiny. It's good music right here. I like the melody. <laughs> what? I'll, I'll get George Martin on the phone and see if we can get that changed for you. <laughs> well, they should have t- they should have George Martin. So why they should have? You know not- why they did it? <laughs> well, that, no, I don't. It's George Harrison's signature slide guitar done in a Jeff Lynn what, who helped they, produce it be a, style. Well. <laughs> So maybe they should have gotten another guy to help produce it. By the way, ELO's going on their final tour, farewell tour. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. I want to see that. They have a hell of a show. Yeah. Electric Light Orchestra. Uh, these, we like these people. Yeah. Uh, John Lennon here. You're hearing uh, Flounder, uh, Kimmer, and uh, Pete Davis, the birthday boy from a couple of days ago. 1996, the second Beatles anthology series was released. The album featured Real Love, a track that remained. This you're listening to right here. Remaining members of the Beatles recorded using an old demo track of John Lennon's. The song was first recorded by John Lennon in 1977. And we're talking today in 1996. This was out. Uh, They recorded it with a handheld tape recorder in 77 on his piano at his home. It originated as part of an unfinished stage play that John Lennon was working on at the time entitled The Ballad of John and Yoko. Well, didn't they have a, a song called The yeah. Ballad Judge? I mean, that's what they did, right? <laughs> it's a song. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great song. Yeah. Anyway, that was 1996 when they had the second anthology thing. Now, they were uh, going to do Now and yeah. Then back then when they did Free as a Bird and Real Love, but they didn't have the technology to separate John Lennon's voice from the piano because, like Pete said, all right. it was was a handhold recorder. Yeah. And now, now and Then was the one we played, that we highlighted when they came out with this, the new one with all this. I mean, that was really uh, uh, a hell of an effort. I remember I liking that song. Very, I remember liking that very much. Out of all three bright. songs. I think you had mentioned this once before, Pete. But all three songs are kind of more melancholy and on the slower side. Dirge, yeah, Dirge is, yeah. I, I yeah. want somebody to come out with one. I think Billy Joel just did one that was a sad, slow song. I was like, "Come on, man, put, do something upbeat, upbeat, a little happy." 
Come on, I'm tired yeah. of the dirges. Yeah, uh, dirge this, hey. Uh, but what the Stones did. The Stones came out with an album of new stuff. It's, they're not great. There's but a couple of really good songs. It's upbeat rock and roll. But uh, it's upbeat, at uh, least. All right. It's got a beat to it. Sick of these people. And McCartney <laughs> playing bass yeah. on that song, which uh, we can't bastard. play because he cusses through the whole thing. Run, What's that song? Scumbag. Uh, bite my head off. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great song. Oh man, <laughs> you are such so angry about. Yeah, only the angry would stand in the back and go boo, hiss, hiss, boo, boo. I don't like. It. I don't. I don't. I don't like. It. I don't like it's it. new. I don't like. It. <laughs> I know, sir. I gotta run you right now. Clouds, <laughs> get off of my porch. <laughs> That's not a porch. It's a Mercedes. <laughs> Jeez. Just sit up there grunting. <laughs> like an old, seriously. It's like your grandfather in a corner. <laughs> I haven't invited him back to Thanksgiving dinner. Kids today. <laughs> you sound like my grandmother. We were sitting on the couch when, when, when uh, what's his face? Michael Jackson <laughs> debuted his video for no. bad, bad or black and white or yeah. whatever. The one yeah. where he jumps on a car and trashes it and grabs yeah, his crutch. Yeah. And I'm sitting there watching my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> grew up in Mississippi. She's 80-something years old. And that? she's just staring at it. What is he doing? What is that little black fellow <laughs> doing on that car? <laughs> Why is he grabbing himself? <laughs> you could just see her entire life was for nothing. Take me, she, God. She, Take me now. Seriously. She did not I'm understand. Ready. It's life. over. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm done. I swear to you. <laughs> And that was you. Oh God! Five minutes ago. Well, it's going to be me another five minutes from now too. I bet you. Uh, Three thirty-eight. <coughs> Speaking of, well, now a little sad note. Bruce Willis' birthday, sixty-nine. Mm -hmm. What a sad story. It is very sad. And now his daughter yeah. comes out, and she's autistic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, Bruce <sighs> Willis, sixty-nine. Is that Willow? Is that the? What, no, it's, it's another different one. Different one. I don't thing. remember. Anyway, and uh, a little history note here. I got a little history note here. Uh, 1996. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a goofy freaking mood today. <laughs> 1996. Nelson Mandela divorced his... <laughs> Oh my God! You're laughing so at Nelson, Nelson Mandela. <laughs> well, just the word divorce. It just <laughs> 1996. Nelson. <laughs> we can laugh now. <laughs> Nelson Mandela divorced his wife Winnie after thir after 38 years of marriage. He spent 27 of them in prison. He got out and got back with her, decided he'd rather go back to prison. Did she set a rubber tire on a guy's neck and set him on fire? Necklacing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hard check there, baby. <laughs> a month of the woman, all right. Yowie. How about the 28 days of the woman? Jeez. <laughs> You know how hard it is to set a tire on fire? <laughs> I know how hard it is to get one out. Remember the story they had taught me? God, I'm crying. I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard. I'm literally crying. Tears coming out. Remember, wasn't there, remember there was a dump fire, tire dump. Ohio yeah, For like seven years or yeah. 20 years. or It's still smoldering underground or something. It's unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, uh, three, God, 340. 340. Kimber, and Flounder. <clears throat> Focus. Oh, uh, this is important. It's this time of year. This is March, and it's springish, although we're getting, uh, I think we're going real low again over uh, freezing tonight or tomorrow night, whatever. Anyway, it's uh, springtime, and that means, once again, I can't believe this driving into work. Eleven. It's like 11 o'clock this morning, driving on Westside Parkway, the busy part of it, not the part in the neighborhood, but the busy part of Westside Parkway, 45 mile an hour or 40 mile an hour speed limit. And two lanes, a divided a divider, a, a grass, and then two lanes on the other side, okay? I'm going down the thing doing 45, 47 miles an hour, and out, out of nowhere comes another deer. He missed the front of my car by maybe three feet, kept galloping over the median strip, and through two more lanes of traffic coming the other way, and never got hit. I couldn't believe it. This is the second deer episode I've had in the last week and I hit the other one at night pitch black and he bounced off my car fender and took off and, and again yesterday I told you on the way to work in the middle of Marietta Highway half a deer dead carcass laying there people be careful broad 11 o'clock in the morning 
Can we get John Deere to sponsor the Deere Report? I, I mean, I couldn't. I, I, I'm telling deer. you, this is. I mean, you got to be Rusty's careful. Rusty's in the club. I, Rusty's in the club. <laughs> Laugh now. Can you? I mean, if your if, if your car hits a deer, I, okay. Every night on my road, oh. a deer jumps out in front of me. Every well, night. I just, I'm just, yeah, but not 11 o'clock in the morning on Westside Parkway. Not in the middle of the day. And no. with traffic and cars and horns and I mean, they got a skating rink there and a bowling alley. I mean, it's unfreaking believable. See, country deer have the common decency God. to not come out. In the I mean, I, it was right where that, that all that active stuff is. I could, I, I, where he came out, I don't you know, know where he came out of. He's out because he knows no one here is going to shoot him. Well, I guess. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I, I'm so, just, I'm just telling you, be careful. Okay, three forty-one, uh, three forty-two, almost. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, all right, we got. We'll, we'll talk more about the, the stupid hearing. I, I, they're not covering it live anymore, or I would go to it if they were. I would be covering it live. Uh, but uh, uh, okay, a lot of newsy stuff, including again. This is just so much of a scandal. It's why we hate these people because they hate us. The Gold Star Father, Steve Nicoy, who was arrested after shouting at President Murderer during the State of the Union address, has now said again he's really not surprised that the Biden administration once again has not intervened on his behalf, even though it happened March 7th. What's that, 12 days? No, the charges have not been, uh, been dropped, he said, outside of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee hearing today right now, talking about the Afghanistan withdrawal. He and the other Gold Star families are there, those who could make it. Most of them are there. Uh, the Capitol Police say the charges leveled against Mr. Nicoy are being handled by the U.S. Attorney under the direction of Attorney General Merrick Garland. Nikoi is a father of the Marine who was slaughtered thanks to those traitors who put together the Afghanistan withdrawal. Uh, he yelled out Abby Gate and his son's unit in the Marine Corps and then got let out and arrested. Uh, <clears throat> and they've still, uh, they've still arrested. They haven't dropped the charges. Uh, how is that possible? I mean, what, what do you... Th I mean, here, here's a Marine... Killed and by the way, the thirteen killed at that at Abbey's Gate at that incident were eleven Marines and a soldier and a sailor, uh, including women. And uh, and for him, I mean, I, the dead Marine and his father yelled out. And the only person arrested and so far reprimanded in any way for the Afghanistan withdrawal is the dead Marine's father. Yeah, got a citation and hauled out of the State of the Union in the People's House. All these arrests are a signal that you will not question the regime ever. How, how could Merrick Garland, I mean, honestly, God, this man has no testicles. How could he not stand up and say, ladies and gentlemen, this was really a mistake. Uh, heat of the moment, emotional. My God, if, you, you know, by, if you've let all the protesters go when they burned down this country for yeah. three stinking years, and you're, you're going to have the, the charges remain against this guy? They're on the left. The Marine, dead Marine's father? <laughs> Holy crap. He should have had the balls to say this is just wrong in every way. Uh, I know, you know, he expressed his emotion. It was a very emotional time. My God, what this country's going through right now. The charges are dropped. You have our apologies, for, and uh, I wish you the best, and uh, our condolences for the loss of your son. Boom, end of story, and it would have been over. And now, I'm not, I'm not going to forget this, these dirty, stinking bastards, every one of them, including that stinking, uh, silly Millie, uh, the, uh, the uh, pedicure and pronoun prince. Oh, my God, testifying today. In fact, Flounder, do you ever got that soundbite with him before we go to the break here? This is Millie, the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He's retired, and he showed up in civilian clothes, thank God, and they ripped the freaking stars off him. Anyway, here's what he said, pretending to care about the, about, about the dead victims of his ridiculous withdrawal plans. And finally, to the Gold Star families that are here with us today and those that couldn't make it. There's nothing that I can say or do that's going to fill that gaping hole in your heart. But as I've told you before, I'm committed and I will honor that commitment to get you the answers, to get you to the truth. And I will personally, and I know everyone else will as well, Honor your sacrifice and the sacrifice of your loved one. I don't believe you. I don't believe anybody else would testifying up there. You're not going to get to the bottom of it. You don't honor anything or you want to come clean when it happened. What is it, three, how many years ago? He would have Jesus. told him no. When Biden came with that yeah. plan, no, yeah. we're not doing that. It's not going to work, sir. With all due respect. And the same with the Marine. I can't believe the Marine didn't punch him in the freaking face. Or resign. Say it's not going to yeah, work. That's right. I'm out. God. Anyway, it's uh, 346. It's all good, Kim Repeat and Flounder on your Live again. Tuesday.
Start your day the right way with Tug, Rhino, and Los on the Morning Extra. Rhino, born and raised up in New York. Yeah, born in Queens. And is a new son of the South. He was tired of paying them taxes. Tired of it. Tired of the nonsense. Can't drink a big gulp. Yeah, I want right. 64 ounces of soda and I want to get fat, so be it. That's right. Give me all Let that me sugar. Be. <laughs> Let me be. The Morning Extra, 6 to 10 a.m. Every weekday morning on Extra 1063 FM and the Extra app. Sequoia National Golf Club is located 45 minutes west of Asheville, North Carolina and nestled among the oak, fir, and flowered valleys in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains. Owned by the Eastern Band of the Cherokee, this Robert Trent Jones II design offers an idyllic 18-hole journey filled with panoramic vistas on every hole, beautiful landscapes, and a fun mountain golf experience. Enjoy a relaxed lunch or afternoon beverage on the outdoor deck with 180-degree views of the Great Smoky Mountains. The surrounding community also provides golfers a welcoming environment that is rich with Native American culture, and exciting year-round attractions. Sequoia National Golf Club is just four miles from Harris Cherokee Casino Resort. And just a short drive from Atlanta, experience a fun afternoon of golf with your friends or stick around for an epic stay-and-play weekend. Experience mountain golf at its finest and then go hit the casino floor. Book your tee time at sequoianational.com. That's sequoianational.com. Experience the majesty and beauty of Sequoia National, mountain golf at its finest. Hey, homeowners, Tug here with some exciting news. Southern Exteriors is your one-stop solution for top-notch exterior services, from roofing to siding, windows, gutters, and more. No more waiting. They can start on your project immediately. And with an in-house warranty division, Southern Exteriors stands by their work for years to come. From leaky roofs to faded siding, trust Southern Exteriors for a quick and lasting transformation. Don't wait. Transform your home today. Call 877-9-SOUTHERN or visit southernexteriors.co now. Southern Exteriors, quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges on your tax debt daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you will owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima Tax have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-970-3199. That's 800-970-3199. 800-970-3199. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. <laughs> woof, woof, or whatever. <laughs> I caught you this time. There we go. Speaking of Michael Jackson. Da, 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 bum, bum, bum. We're going back to the hearing. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going back to hearing in just a second. This is going to be uh, interesting. Hold on. Michael Jackson, 1988, began construction of his 2,800-acre ranch and private amusement park in Santa Barbara, California. He named it Neverland after the fantasy location in his favorite book, Peter Pan, where children never grow up. Now, <laughs> Uh, uh, Michael Jackson, great talent. We should be. All right, let's go to the hearing. Here is um, uh, Republican Congressman Millie Tetsvine. That's the congressman speaking now. Yes. That's Millie. Oh, don't. No, no, no. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh, dear God. You know, I love you, Martha. I swear to God, I want to kiss you on the mouth. I swear to you, I love you, everything about you, except shut up. 
Well, crap. There goes that live hearing. Well, that, that guy was going in the military. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I can't remember his name. He's a, he's a veteran. He was a special forces guy. He's a well-known Republican. And, and my head's gone. I can't. I, he's well, the first will one not come out. that we've heard say, where is the accountability? Yeah, right, exactly. So, uh, I mean, I can't. Why, why are they going now? They're talking about the new uh, documents on the COVID lab leak. Oh, smoking gun. They found it. It's really true. Well, I think we knew that for, what, four years? Yeah, from the beginning. Uh, where did COVID come from? Uh, yeah, my butt. How about right on my butt? Here it is right now. Only the eggheads would still be Jesus, trying to argue where be. it came from. God. We want to go back to the... I, oh, this is unbelievable. Anyway, sorry. Cameron, Pete, and Flounder. How are you doing? 352. And here's our phone number. 404-741-1230. 741-1230. The hearing is the House Armed Services Committee about the Afghanistan withdrawal. And it's juicy and spicy. And she cuts away to talk about this. And and, and uh, what's his name? Yahtzee face over there. The most, uh, yeah. You think she got an order to get yeah, away absolutely. from it? The producers are running the joint over there. It's uh, not the people on the air. It's above them. Well, yeah. But, uh, well, the executive producer is, you know, the boss. Whoever. Have to protect Millie. I don't know, I don't know Millie. Really now anymore. Have to protect Millie. This is, this is unbelievable. Who gives a crap about this? You know, I, I, no, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly how it works. When you come in and you do a, even even when you're doing 24 hours and you're doing live stuff, you still have a block. You still have a a block of programming segments. They had already planned this segment, and now they're doing your world with Neil, Neil Cavoto repeat from August 23rd uh, and Fauci. We're talking about line. the uh, line. So now they're doing a whole they're doing a whole retrospective of the history of what we knew about COVID and when we knew it and when we didn't know it. Who gives a crap when they're talking about the Afghan? Oh my God, I can't believe it. And now they're interviewing a girl who wrote a book about it. What happened in Wuhan? Well, that's fine for a feature story on a Saturday afternoon. How about going back to the hearing, which is live right now? Yep. Jeez, I, I mean, I can't believe it. This is, I mean, this is broadcasting. What's the matter with you? 101 broadcasting. <sighs> Oh my God! I, sorry, if I, I mean, I just, I, geez, I, I'm just it's unbelievable. Well, you know, well, I, I, I'm an old goal. I'm, a, I'm a nobody. You know, I, I, I don't even fit in a demographic anymore. So obviously, you know, if you try to listen to what I think we ought to be doing, <laughs> it's wrong because it's, I, it's not, it's not even in the ball game anymore. They're, they're basically doing an advertisement for some story they got coming up later, <laughs> some special God. or something about the COVID thing. I, mean, I just, I don't know. All right, uh, four, uh, three, 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 fifty-four, three, three, fifty-four. Three fifty-four is our time. Kim Repeat and Flounder. We got a million things to talk about, including some fun. We have some fun stuff. I can't think of it at the moment. No, no, we die, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a, a sweet elevator story. A sweet ele- Tell I mean, the I, damn elevator story and get it over with. Well, it's stupid, and I feel you're going to make fun of me. Is there sex involved? No, but they're... Good, good. Well, but you're going to make fun of me. Well... But on the other hand, I mean, I, well, that's the show. Well, <laughs> yeah, what do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> I drove down you here for, the very, <laughs> for, that, for that very opportunity. <laughs> well, but there's so much about Trump and the news and all that stuff, and I don't want to d- deprive people of the, the actual news. Well, they stuff. just took it away from us, so. <laughs> I know. All right, well, okay, okay. This is, now I'm embarrassed. It's so silly. Last night, I'm leaving here, and I go into, in the parking garage, you go uh, through a little like a passageway area, and you get to the two elevators, and then, so I'm at the elevator, so I push a button, and coming, up, kind of flying around the corner is a young a girl, mm-hmm. probably 20-ish, 22, maybe, something like that. Um, and uh, she's uh, whizzing around the building, like she's uh, coming around to the elevators in a real big hurry, and, and all of a sudden, she almost hits me, runs into me, and I'm wearing my Marine Corps cover, my Marine Corps hat, my Marine Corps jacket with patches, and my Marine Corps satchel on my shoulder. I mean, you know, I must look like a something. You know? In- incognito. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, and so, and, and plus me, you know, and so she comes screaming around the corner, almost hits me, and then starts, you know, shrieking and sort of giggling at the same time, and I said, gee, I said, I said, I said, I said hey, I really didn't mean to scare you. I know this is the way I am all the time or something like that. It made her laugh. And just, you know, just fading to come. And, and I said, I said, I said, I really did. Sorry about that. I said, I'll tell you what, you take the elevator and I'll wait and take the next one. If you, you know, and she said, and she looked at me and she thought, I could see her thinking, how, what a sweet thing to offer. Okay, no, 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 okay. All right, stay with me here. Was she laughing nervously at this no, point? No, no, she or? was laughing happily and, and like okay. almost, almost flirtatiously. Oh, God. Oh no! I know, I know. Uh, and so, and I tip my cap. I always tip my cap to the, if I'm with a girl. Tip my cap, and I said, I could always. She says, No, 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 like that. And, no, and she all of a sudden she she went, No, no, like she wanted me to go in with her. Okay. And I said, By the way, to let you know in advance, I'm going to the fourth floor. 
because I didn't want her to think I was waiting to see where she's going to pretend I was going to the same floor. I mean, I'm, I'm really, have you ever done that in an elevator? If you're a guy and you're getting in an elevator and there's a girl coming in with you, uh, I, I mean, you don't want to, I mean, I think girls be, are nervous about well, stuff like that. So anyway, so I said, I said, by the way, I'm going, I'm going to the fourth floor. Uh, and she got in first, and so she hit four, and then I saw she hit two. Okay, anyway, so then she turns, and she starts smiling. And, and here's what got me. Um, I mean, she was she was like uh, kind of just really a girl next door. She wasn't what you'd call, you know, a knockout. She wasn't sexy. She wasn't, you know, particularly pretty or anything, but she looked so sweet. She she had the sweetest, nicest, most friendly, natural face. No makeup, just, uh, I mean, just, play, you know, brown hair. And, and she just, she, but she had the sweetest smile. It just, I mean, she lit up the place. It was mm-hmm. unbelievable. And, and her attitude. When, you know the way she treated me as I'm in the door, the whole business, and being scared and stuff like that. And then, um, uh, oh God, what was I going to say? Um, Anyway, so, so we're getting the elevator, and then and then she she kind of you know like like we've known each other very. She said, she said, "Well, how was your day?" And I swear to God, I almost, and I said and I said something silly that made her laugh, you know, and then, and then and so I, you know like nobody shoot me, whatever, and made her laugh and giggle and stuff like that. And then she her floor come and she kind of and she she got to the floor and she paused as though she no no I'm serious she in my head okay this this is really happening I'm really happening <laughs> and she paused as though she wanted to say something and I almost said I I know I didn't do it now I've been good about this I've been good about this but in my head. Uh, and I smiled at her and tipped my cap again, and she it, it was like she didn't really want to go. But obviously, you know, there was nothing more. It was, you know, her thing. Okay, sure. Uh, in my head, I was going to say, I said, Miss, by the way, um, I, I, don't, you know, don't be nervous about this. I'm old enough to be your grandfather. But you have the sweetest smile, the prettiest smile, and I've just had the, uh, so, so much fun just, you know, being with you for the last 20 seconds. of the, You just made me, you made my day. You made me feel so happy and, and friendly and nice, and, ha- and I just wanted to say thank you. You had such a beautiful smile. And uh, you know, adios or something. You just to tell her, and I, but I didn't, and we let it go. But I mean, I'm telling you, it was this. And, and then, by the way, and this was really funny. I started my car, which of course you can hear in the entire, mm-hmm. you know, parking garage. Anyway, and so I drove down, and she was still on on the second floor. <laughs> I didn't trust you. Huh? No, no. So I scooted out. <laughs> but anyway, it was no. I'm sure. I know this is stupid. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm blushing. I can feel myself. I'm embarrassed about it. But honestly, it was. It was she was so sweet and so natural, and it was just. It was just like I counted. I'm getting emotional. I can't believe it. It, it. Really, it was like you know. I mean, hell, I'm almost eighty freaking years old, and it was like you know, like like she, we, we connected for a, a moment of just a sweet, pleasant, happy. Oh my God, that was uh, you know almost scared me, and then it was so fun. It was just a sweet moment, and I, I'm telling you, it was it made my. I I, I I I thought about it all all night and all today. A smile makes people's. I told you it was Saturday night, my birthday night, yeah. and I was out of that concert, and I sat down. I turned, and she turned around, and looked at me with the most angelic smile, and it was like, oh my god, that what a yeah. beautiful smile. She she lit me up. It makes the whole difference. Yeah. It makes the night yeah. nicer. Yeah, but it was nice to be to, to feel acknowledged. You'll get there. You aren't there yet. I'm not you, there yet. Yeah, and Flounder, you you won't get there for thirty years. But I'm telling you, at some point, 20. you're going to be not in the ball game. And when you get acknowledged, especially by somebody that bright and outgoing and cheerful and happy and wonderful, I tell you, it makes your day. It makes a lot more than that. Anyway, God bless America. Almost four o'clock with a camera, Pete and Flounder, right here. Here, look out. WFOM and W292EV Marietta, a Dickey Broadcasting Station. This hour is presented by Atlanta Safe House. A surprise from the U.S. Supreme Court on Lisa Brady, Fox News. The justice is lifting a stay on a Texas law that allows police to arrest migrants suspected of crossing from Mexico illegally and potentially deport them without turning them over to Border Patrol. Governor Greg Abbott calls it a game changer. Fox's Nate Foy is in Eagle Pass. So essentially how it would work is they would have to see a migrant uh, crossing illegally and then they could just charge that migrant with criminal trespassing, take them to a judge who then uh, would give the migrant the option to go back to Mexico or go through the court process uh, and be charged with that crime rather than how it works right now where the migrants go to Border Patrol to be processed and ultimately very often released into the country. 
Today's divided Supreme Court decision means Texas can enforce the new law while the legal fight continues. There were dissents from three liberal justices, including Sonia Sotomayor, who wrote that allowing enforcement invites further chaos and crisis. Former President Trump just filing a brief with the Supreme Court ahead of arguments next month in his bid for immunity from prosecution in a federal election interference case. The brief reiterates his arguments that the president can't function and presidency can't retain independence if the president faces criminal prosecution for official acts once he leaves office. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer just ripping the former president on the Senate floor after he said Jewish people who vote for Democrats hate their religion and hate Israel. To say you hate Israel or your religion because you have one political view over the other is sick, it's hateful. It is unadulterated anti-Semitism. Schumer accusing the former president of pushing a loyalty trope. The Senate leader has faced some bipartisan criticism for his recent public rebuke of the Israeli prime minister over the situation in Gaza. Stocks finished higher, the Dow up 320. America's listening to Fox News. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month. And that's huge, but it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. So maybe you're self-employed or part of the gig economy, or you just want to plan you're much happier with. Here's the number you need. 844-53-BIBLE. That's 844-53-BIBLE. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It says, I guess this is us, right? Hold on. I'm like, what the hell's going on? There we go. <laughs> oh, look out. <laughs> yeah, we got Ozzy going there. <laughs> All right, look out. Here we go. 403, Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. Ozzy Osbourne on this day, 1982. The Ozzy guitarist and former Quiet Riot member Randy Rhodes was killed in a horrible accident. The plane he was riding in crashed. No. After driving much of the night, the band had stopped near a small airstrip. The tour bus driver, Andrew Acock, talked the band's keyboardist, Don Airy, into taking a test flight in a 1955 Beechcraft Bonanza. The joyride ended. The plane landed safely. Then Acock took Rhodes and Rachel Youngblood on another flight, and attempts were made to buzz the tour bus. The left wing clipped the tour bus, which sent the plane spiraling into a nearby house and bursting into flames. (laughs) All three... It's so funny. I I know you can't stop laughing. It's a rock and roll way to die. All three bodies were burned beyond recognition, were identified by dental records. Randy was 25. (laughs) Name me another great rock and roll death better than that. Well, it'd be dragged by lions. I mean, there's there's really very few other ways to do it. He's buzzing... The tour bus. Buzzing the tour bus. <laughs> Jeez. Christ. Clip the wing. Good Lord. Now, the rumor was Randy was at the... He probably trying to fly it. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know if that's true. Oh, I've had, a pilot let me fly a plane once, and a pilot yeah. let me fly a helicopter once. That was fun. I, I, I was terrible at it. Was he drunk? Passed out? No, it was, no, it was uh, you know, he caught me with his wife. That's a whole story. Uh, birthday list includes Sirhan Sirhan, freaking 80. Bobby Kennedy's assassin. Is he still in... I think he's still in, isn't he? Did yeah. they let him out? Oh no, they're never letting him out. I think there was a there was a huge push to get him deported, at, but let it. But I think uh, his son, you know, the ones running for president, said something the other day that I did not know. What's that? That when Sirhan got to him, he was right up against him, four shots, one right behind the ear, all with the the. Uh, what do you call it? The burns. Yeah. That's how close he was. It was almost right on his skin. And wow. he got four shots off right in his body. Wow. I had no idea he was that close no, to I, him. I didn't know either. Rayford Johnson jumped on him and, and uh, uh, Rosie Greer. Was Rosie it Rosie Greer? Greer? Yeah. Wow. 
uh, 4.06 almost with a Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. 404-741-1230. is our phone number. 4 o'clock hour brought to you by our good friends and home of the Kimmer Safe's Atlanta Safe House. You need a safe. You don't. You don't realize you put your social security card in your safe, not your wallet. Thank you. I learned the hard way. Thank you. And your medical records. Let's not get into that. Atlanta Safe House has a showroom in Ackworth, and I'll be talking about them some more a little bit later on. Uh, AtlantaSafeHouse.com on the web. Uh, Four hundred six. All right, Cameron Pete and Flounder. Okay, I feel so much better after my little elevator girl story. I swear, I just, I really made, I, I can't tell you. It does, I just, a I smile. just can't tell you. It goes you. a long way. And, and, and she, she was, I mean, she was just just natural. It was just so natural. Like it was, like it, it was just supposed to be, you know? It's just really, really sweet. Just very, very sweet. Okay, uh, 406, Kimber, Pete, and Flounder. We got news. If they go back to the hearing, it may be over. I don't know. If they go back to the hearing at the uh, House uh, Armed Services Committee with General Silly Millie, the uh, pedicure and podium and, and uh, the podcast, what, what am I trying to say? The uh, uh, pedicure and uh, pronoun king, uh, and, and he and that General McKenzie from the freaking Marine Corps. Uh, I, I can't believe that Fox isn't covering this live again. Now they're talking about uh, Trump property sale. And by the way, and that's another major story. Uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, if they make, de- apparently banks are not going to give Donald Trump the bond money to put up for his case in case he has to end up paying it while he appeals. Which, by the way, is also ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. There's no way that he should have been convicted and have to pay half a billion dollars. I mean, the whole thing is just, it's just outrageous. And if they and a bank banks are not giving him the money, so he could lose it. He could take all of his properties, that's, all of them. That's the plan. And that was her plan. Letitia James' plan from the beginning is to get Trump and take all his properties. And by the, if they, boy, if they did that. Well, I don't. Maybe nobody give a damn. Man, maybe this country doesn't really care. I can't believe that people are not are not are not not riding in the streets over all this about against Trump. I mean, this is outrageous. <sighs> anyway, I, I just wonder what'll happen if they manage to somehow keep him off the ballot, and t- the Democrats tell us who we can vote for. Uh, will people happen. take to the streets then? Or is nothing gonna ever? Oh, happen? I, I think that would. There's no way the court will ever allow that to. Oh, I'll, you know, I, 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 unless he's convicted of insurrection. And then they may have to have no choice. I don't know. I mean, who knows? The Again, intent. he's not. He, he was on duty at the time. And can you have a, a pre- first? They have to decide whether a president's immune from anything. If they decide he's immune from anything, it's all over. All of it's that, over. That can't be. You can't. I, be I immune assume from they're anything. not going to be. Well, I, 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 as part of his official duties, if he had gone to rob, that's the thing with the Constitution. That's the tricky part. If he had gone out and robbed a bank. That's got nothing to do with his official duties. But if you're president and you're telling people, you know, uh, to protest peacefully uh, and, and uh, you know, you're in charge of the thing, you, you know, it's not like you started anything. You're just, you know, going about he your normal to go duties. Home. He said, go home and, and protest, uh, show them we disagree and pro- do it peacefully. And that was part of the, of the day's events as president of the United States. That's how he ended his afternoon. He was doing official duties. So if the court decides if your official duties preclude you from being arrested for doing what your job you believe requires you to do... You know, we should be sending a, a, a message to New York City. Don't do business yeah, with New York City. I, I'm waiting for all these. Inva- and by the way, there's no reason for all the big banks to be in New York. They're in Charlotte now. They can go anywhere they want. Yeah. They can go to Scottsdale. I mean, they could go to Keokuk, Iowa if it they used want to. to. Used it's to be all here. technical. It's all computers. Yeah. They don't have money in the vaults anymore. And if they do, put the, you know, a couple hundred grand probably. How much money do you think a bank has in its actual vault? Got $300,000, $400,000. You know, and you're not going to have $40 million. Nope. <laughs> so and what's the freaking point? I mean, honestly, they should close. Oh, my God. Oh, I've, 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 my nipples are hard as a rock right now. Can you imagine what would happen if all the all the big banking investment firms said, oh, that's it. We're, you know, if, you, if you're going to put, I mean, God, Donald Trump, the former president, a billionaire who, who was, you know, the, one of the kingpin real estate guys, famous TV. I mean, all the, you know, he owned the Miss USA. I mean, all, oh, my God, Trump is a whole thing in and unto himself. And if, and if they're going to take him down, everybody, uh, the big shots in New York ought to say that. That's it. We ought to, I'll, I'll go to Florida and Texas. <laughs> I mean, my God, how funny would that be? This and is, Georgia. This is the deep state saying, no matter who you are, if you oppose we'll us, get you. we're going to crush you. In fact, now, uh, in fact, another story on Letitia. By the way, Trump is suing ABC News for calling him a rapist. Um, and uh, hold on, uh, where's Letitia? Thing, damn it. Uh, Letitia is now going after. Well, I had it here. Uh, 
God, she's going after uh, one of the districts, which is a conservative district. And uh, they're, they they passed a rule in her district. I'm still trying to find the damn thing. Uh, they're trying to. They passed a rule in, in in one of the New York City districts that says uh, we are not going to allow boys who dress like girls to play on girls' sports. We're just not going to allow it. Um, and here we go. Hold on a second. I got it here. <laughs> no one will be hey, allowed to leave the show. I got it right here. During it's the right exciting got. shuffling of the papers. Nassau County has Republican guys in charge. And so they passed a thing saying, uh, no, no, we're not going to allow boys to play in the girls' sports. And so Letitia James now is going after them with a federal lawsuit. Uh, in federal court, and so they're taking her to court and the state of New York to court, alleging that she's uncon- unconstitutionally discriminating against women and girls. It's not anti-trans, it's protecting women and girls. Yep. And she's trying to overturn the protection of women and girls. Letitia, I mean, she's going after everybody because she wants to be governor, I guess. Or senator she's or something. power hungry. Good Lord. I, I mean, that's how, it's just hard to believe. <sighs> Right. And you look at her and you look at Fanny, it's like, who put these people in power? I know. They're idiots. I and know. they're corrupt idiots, in my opinion. And they're doubling down. Well, they're, they're, they're you know, and they're getting more awards. Of I think course. they gave her another award, over, another church award for yeah. black women of, uh, you know, of, of, of cuckolding, you know, of, of Fulton County or something. My God. There really <laughs> is. I mean, this, this politicians <laughs> going into the pulpit and getting together with these corrupt preachers. And you see the parishioners out there are still as poor as they ever were, but the preachers sure are living well, and the politicians yeah. sure are living well. Yeah. All right. Coming up, by the way, they're going after a girl, a social media influencer, who was at the Capitol and unfortunately helped move a desk, which was later used to try to block police or something. So they're going to try to put her... This is three years ago. They're going to try to put her in prison now for like 18 years. It's a message. Yeah. And also, Donald Trump is suing George Stephafafopoulos and ABC News for defamation because they kept calling him a rapist. He's never been convicted of rape. Now, the problem is you have to you have to show, because of the New York Times rule, you have to show that it's actual malice. If you can't prove that he was out to get you, that he knew better and did it anyway, if you're a public figure, you, can, you can't sue anybody. If you're, but unless it's actual malice to come and get you, then you can sue. That's why, the, that's why the royal family can do stuff like that, but they have different rules. Anyway, uh, it is hard to prove. Uh, 413, Kevin Pete and Flounder, and uh, the latest, if the hearing's live, we're going back to it, too, uh, here on 106.3. like that. Time for the Bortz Report, brought to you by Southern Exteriors, the Southeast's premier home exterior solution. Quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years. Visit southernexteriors.co. Well, here we are. It's March, and people are starting to worry about getting their taxes filed next year. So that brings me to this. It didn't have to be that way. We could have had the fair tax by now. No federal income tax. But the politicians didn't want to give up that power, and the people of this country were too consumed by bread and circuses to demand it. Ah, life without the income tax. Well, first of all, you wouldn't be worrying about gathering all your tax information and sending it off to the government. All the financial details of your life. Worried about audits. Worried about maybe missing a W-2 form somewhere. And for the last year, you would have been living with a system whereby you didn't pay one penny to the federal government until you took care of the basic needs of your family. Food, shelter, clothing, transportation. Yeah, I know it sounds complicated, but there's 20 plus million dollars of research behind that. Tell me about another tax plan with that much research behind it passage of the fair tax would have been the largest transfer of power from government back to the people in the history of this country. But so many Americans were too busy looking at the recruiting records of their favorite college football team or trying to lower their golf handicap. That's me. No, the Fair Tax Act is not dead. It is still before the Congress, but there is no national push from the people to get it done so it for now won't get done 
keep loaning the government money by overpaying your taxes during the year. And then on tax day, you can say, I didn't have to pay anything. I'm getting some back. Yeah, continue with the stupidity and intellectual laziness. Maybe your children or your grandchildren can live in a country without the IRS. Not going to happen for you. Neil Bortz Extra 106.3. Hey, homeowners, Tug here with some exciting news. Southern Exteriors is your one-stop solution for top-notch exterior services, from roofing to siding, windows, gutters, and more. No more waiting. They can start on your project immediately. And with an in-house warranty division, Southern Exteriors stands by their work for years to come. From leaky roofs to faded siding, trust Southern Exteriors for a quick and lasting transformation. Don't wait. Transform your home today. Call 877-9-SOUTHERN or visit southernexteriors.co now southern exteriors quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years pack your bags and join the georgia tech yellow jackets football team in dublin ireland is toby's leather to kick off the 2024 football season in dublin the Erlingus college football classic will feature your yellow jackets versus the florida state seminoles in a special week zero matchup on august 24 2024 don't miss this unique opportunity to visit one of the world's most popular travel destinations while cheering on the jackets on a global stage for travel pack Packages, tickets, and more information, go to gt2ireland.com. Sting them. Hi, I'm Mark Beckham with Atlanta Ramjack. We specialize in only foundation repair. What makes Atlanta Ramjack special is the crews. Our crews are the most experienced people in the industry. Foundation repairs has many aspects. We do helical piers, hydraulically driven piles. We do polyfoam injection. We pressure grout. We do carbon fiber reinforcement. There's multiple solutions to foundation repairs. If you see any signs of foundation issues, please contact us at atlantaramjack.com. It's a mad world out there, but one thing is certain, everyone is trying to market something. So tune in every Saturday at 3 p.m. to the Marketing Mad Men, who, along with a variety of industry expert guests, can help you make sense of it all. Whether you own a business and want tips to scale, or are a fan of the finer things in life and want to know how restaurants, golf courses, and wine companies try to sell you stuff, the Marketing Mad Men is your ultimate destination for all things marketing. Tune in right here on Extra 106.3 every Saturday at 3 p.m. or search online for more content. Join the madness with the Marketing Mad Men. At the Piedmont Bank, we're proud to be one of Georgia's largest community banks, focusing on serving businesses and the communities they serve. With headquarters right here in Metro Atlanta, our tailored banking expertise and solutions help meet the diverse needs of our customers so they have what it takes to grow, expand, and thrive. It's what elevates us above the rest. Find a location near you at Piedmont.Bank and experience elevated banking for you and your business. The Piedmont Bank. Banking elevated. Member FDIC and Equal housing lender. Hey there, it's Tara, owner and publisher of Our Town Monthly, where you'll find familiar faces, local voices, and community businesses like JRM Management. Thanks, Tara. I'm Missy Miller, event coordinator at JRM Management. We are your event specialist. We are excited to see you at the Georgia Food and Wine Festival, March 21st through the 24th. We'll have food, beverages, cooking demos, live music, shopping, and more. Or maybe you're looking for an event where you can bring the entire family. Join us at the Marietta Community Egg Hunt, Friday, March 29th, and the Northeast Cobb Community Egg Drop, Saturday, March 30th. There will be multiple egg hunts by age and lots of kid-friendly activities. Also, look out for the Kennesaw Big Shanty Festival, the Smyrna Spring Donkle Festival, and of course, the North Georgia State Fair. There's always something fun happening in our community, and we want you to know about it. That's why we love our partnership with Our Town Monthly. You are so right, Missy. If JRM is there, the fun follows. Friends, check out all the exciting community events hosted by JRM Management. And remember, Our Town is your town at Our Town Monthly. Rough, rough. Are <laughs> you in that rough, rough? <laughs> 420, look at it. I like this song. Nobody else does. I love this song, and I have it on my magic music stick. I, oh, God, I don't think I do. I'm going to put it back on. I, I think I, I think I had. To, I used to have this on uh, one of my other uh, tape things, or my CD. Well, the next time it. you bring your magic well, stick in, I'll put right. it on there. Outstanding! I love this song. Nobody else does. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it really sucks. It's a, it was. A, I, I know, and I can't help it. I love this stupid song. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to do a thing back when. Uh, uh, when um, mayor, the mayor of Hate, Shirley Franklin, was opening up the new big part of Atlanta. Uh, what the hell? Uh, Atlanta, Atlantic, Atlantic Station. Oh, yeah. We, we built this. Uh, I've got played. I'll, I'll sing. Whatever I just saw. No, no, not you. Here we go. Atlantic Station. 
Atlantic Station, Atlanta, GA, Atlantic Station. What? Stop it. <laughs> Atlantic Stop. Station, Atlanta, GA. Uh, I go out for 10 no, seconds. Wait, and now, Atlantic Station, where you can go to try to get furniture at that furniture store and take it home and put it together yourself. Remember to bring your car keys because it's going to cost you a fortune to park your car. Okay. And I used to do a thing like that with Atlantic Station to this song, which I love and you hate and he hates and everybody else hates and I love it. Why? I was just accosted. <laughs> in the hallway by a member of management yeah. saying, get in there and stop him. Well, bring him in here and I'll take care of it right now. Anyway. I leave for 10 seconds. <laughs> Was that Scott or Steve? He can't make up his own mind what name he goes by. It's unbelievable. <laughs> he, we got, we he, got Mike and Mark and Matt. It's too freaking it's too every, damn confusing. Everybody here is either Scott or well, Matt. That's what I'm saying. Scott, Steve, Matt, Scott, Mike. Matt yeah, and Mike. Now you added a couple more. See what I mean? It's like, it's you just probably not have right. to remember three they names. Do it on purpose. Three names. 422. Jefferson Airplane, which we were playing on this day no, in 19... 19- that was Jefferson Starship <sighs> you were playing. I, well, I just have to wait a second, sir, while I read my freaking uh-huh. thing here from Flounder, our musical director. And by the way, I knew uh, Grace Slick, and I interviewed Paul Kantner, and thank I, you very much. I talked to Grace Slick. I, I know Grace. Yeah, well, I know her, too. So, <laughs> But I don't know her like that. <laughs> I showed up to their studio when they were hauling off their cars when it was a federal event. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't remember this from San Francisco. I was doing his work the NBC thing out there in TV. And, and they, I got out there to interview them and they were hauling off all their possessions because they had been sued for something. <laughs> Jefferson Starship Airplane. Anyway, it was 74. Jefferson Airplane renamed the group and became Jefferson Starship. The new lineup included Paul Kantner, Grace Slick, drummer Johnny Barbata, David Freeberg, Peter Kulkinen, Craigie Kachiko, and Papa John Creech. And I don't know any of them except Grace Slick and Paul Cantor. I just got interviewed. He was real nice. He just yeah, there goes a Ferrari. You know, it's an all enough all these Lamborghinis. <laughs> I, I asked her, was she upset with Hunter S. Thompson for talking about White Rabbit, that song, in yeah. his book, Fair and Loathing in Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah. And she goes, are you kidding me? I get $1,500 every time some idiot plays that song. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. 423. Our birthday list includes the hideous Glenn Close. 77. Wasn't she one? And by the way, Harvey Rapestein. I won't be ignored. ignored. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein <laughs> Rapestein is 72. Wasn't she one of his uh, sodomy couch I don't girls? I think so. I think so. Glenn no. Close, 77. Harvey Rapestein, 72. Uh, serving time, 23 years for criminal sexual conduct and third degree rape. What kind of prison is he in? I don't know. I don't know if he's in Big Time Charlie or one of the or uh, tennis walk court. around. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I do not know. Uh, I. You know, I think if I think if it had been, I'll bet the story would have broken if he had been in one of those, you know, to play tennis every day in the lounge in the uh, suburbs or something. I don't know, though. Uh, we should probably, try. in fact, I, if we had, if, some way, if, I, if I can get my mom, mom, can you take me to the library? Oh, sorry. We could look up somehow. I can't because I'm. Oh, you want me to look it up? Do oh, it. Is well, that no, a hint? No, no, no. I, I, I could do it. I, when I get home tonight. I can do it. I, I'm going. No, when I get home uh, later, I'm going to look it up and then I'm going to text it to Flounder and take a picture of it and then we'll put it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not too big of a man to stop what I'm not you're doing. You're a little. And do t- this. Well, you're a little <laughs> something of a something. I know that. Jeez, <laughs> four twenty-four. <laughs> oh God! All right, Flounder. What did I miss? I'm funny. I'll bet you. People think we're so different, but we're not. It's just little differences. Like, white people, you're prepared to be drunk better than we are. (laughs) I used to think you just like to do a lot of outdoor activities. That's why you have canoes on the top of your cars and mountain bikes on the back. And then I realized that's not what it's for. They're prepared to be drunk. (laughs) Talking to one of my white friends the other day. I said, what you do last Friday? He said, man, I got so drunk, drove my truck into a lake. I just got in my canoe and paddled the rest of the way home. <laughs> and I'm like, I would have drowned because I don't have no canoe on the top of my head. <laughs> we say different things when we're drunk. If I was hanging out with a couple of brothers end of the night, you could hear things like, you got your license? You got any warrants? <laughs> Take the bullets out the gun. <laughs> 
<laughs> white dudes, you say stuff like, if the moose in the road, I'm riding it. <laughs> this is a true story. I heard there's a party in Wisconsin. I'm like, I'm going with these dudes. I've never seen nobody ride no moose. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, fellas, I'm coming. Let me get my hat. <laughs> White people that got houses with three garage doors. That's where you keep your spaceship. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. They think it's for golf carts and boats, but that's where you keep your spaceship because you're going to leave Earth and go to another planet, and I'm coming. <laughs> I try to tell my black friends all the time, you need white friends with spaceships. White people are cool, but they only going to take one black person per spaceship. And I don't want to be the only black person on the new planet. Somebody's moon rock come up missing, here we go with this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that five for That is Drew Thomas on uh, this version of Flounder's Funnies, brought to you by Nucky's Hoagies, located in Roswell Corner Shopping Center, owned by the Sub Sisters who love laughing with the camera show. The Sub Sisters, baby. We heard their commercial a little oh. while ago from that very cute sounding young yeah. lady. Yeah. Now, now, let's not. No, 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 nice no, 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 no. Nice voice. It wouldn't. I, we sort of start flirting with our radio voices of our yeah, nucky, uh, you know, hoagie thing there. That would be, be, be wrong in No nookie with the nucky. No nookie nuckies. <laughs> uh, 404 that's what I was saying. A couple, of, we got newsy stuff and the uh, Trump stuff and various things. I'm stuff. not finding a pic of his prison. I don't know where they have I wonder, it. I wonder, just, uh, what prison is Harvey Rapstein serving? It doesn't, it should be, it doesn't do that. Uh, anyway, a couple of things in the paper. Uh, Mike Luckahate Amerikovich has a cartoon out today showing a gigantic uh, shot of Donald Trump with an enormous mouth as a spout puking all over the media. And the media is yelling, help, help. And it's a guy in a suit says media and he's getting barfed on. And I can't tell there are little things in the, uh, it's just bad stuff and the tennis rackets and thing, bones and whatever. He's just barfing all over the media as it should be. Uh, th that would be the way the bloodbath really should work against the media. That's exactly what it should be. Exactly what it should be. Puking all over the media. You're a disgrace. What you've done in the last, speci specifically since Donald Trump came down that escalator. You have to, you know, in fact, now the, the, the term um, it's a lawfare, instead of warfare, it's lawfare. They're yeah. using the laws to go do what they can't do with guns. And, and, and this, if you can't see that, now that's the new that's the new term of the year is lawfare because that's what's been going on here. And when Donald Trump should be puking on the media, you got it right, Muck, uh, Luck Hate America Vich. You got it absolutely right. Uh, yeah, that's what you deserve is our barf. And you're a disgrace. Where are the apologies? Where where's the recognition for what you did? Good Lord. And one more, by the way, cartoon uh, from the uh, this guy, Mark, uh, Ramirez. I like him uh, almost always. There's a picture of the Pope and his uh, aides in the Vatican, and the Pope's got his hat on and everything, and the Pope is saying, Ukraine should have the courage of the white flag. The Pope had just called for Ukraine to give up, basically, the other day. Uh, the Pope says, Ukraine should have the courage for the white flag. And his uh, bishop aide says, uh, Your Holiness, Russia has seized the Vatican. Uh, they're asking for courage and 20% of everything. <laughs> I'll call him for a ceasefire. I mean, <laughs> who listens to the Pope anymore? I don't think Catholics listen to him anymore. Well, he's a socialist piece of. Hey, uh, Harvey Weinstein, 30, 23 years in prison, uh, Wendy Correctional Facility, Maximum Security, oh. east of Buffalo. Oh, boy. Max. Yeah, uh, that's, that's not happy time. They don't like rapists in mm -hmm. uh, Maximum Security men's prisons. Oh, man. Oh, they like him. I'll right. bet he's lost a lot of weight. <laughs> I bet he's not hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Carrying a heavy load. <laughs> not very hungry at the dinner. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> oh, these people. Four, oh, 430. Coming up to social media. we got an update on that. You also, want to be the husband or I, the wife? <laughs> well, go on. You do your mama. Uh, do your husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference if you get my 
drift. Uh, also, Donald Trump on Jewish voters. You know, see, this is, again, he got in trouble for going just a little teeny bit extra overboard from what Saying I say. Saying the truth? If you, well, no, he stole the truth, but I don't think Jews hate their religion. I think he. I agree that Jews are idiots. If you vote for a Democrat, you're an idiot. But I don't think you hate your religion, which Donald Trump says, which again, I mean, come on, Donald, stop. You're, I mean, why are you doing this? You don't have to go that quite that far. Anyway, we'll come at 4.30, 430, 430. <laughs> God. <laughs> rough, rough. The Kimmer Show is only live on Extra 106.3 every weekday afternoon on your drive home. In fact, of all the things that happened for the Afghanistan withdrawal, of all the things that happened, the only arrest or, or um, uh, citation has been the father of one of the Marines killed because of Joe Scumface. The Kimmer Show, every afternoon from 3 to 6 p.m. on Extra 106.3 and the Extra app. Uh, all right, I got it. So it's only me. It's only the Kimmer. 431. How's it going? 404 741 1230. Yes, you need a safe. I love to talk about these guys, Jeff and Mark at Atlanta Safe House. I have bought two safes from Atlanta Safe House. Unfortunately, the Kimmer's an idiot. And when I retired and went to Florida, I didn't have my safe. Well, I had them bolted into the floor, by the way, right from the inside of the safe, which is just a great idea. Anyway, down in Florida, of course, and then I need uh, Veterans Administration stuff and medical records, and they're saying, no, we don't believe you, so fine, keep your money, and I wish I hadn't even job. But again, you know, keep your stuff safe. It's not just medical records, marriage and divorce papers, your kids' school things to go back in the need the, the from your doctor and stuff. Uh, your living will, and you should have a living will. Uh, so my, my kids know exactly where to find that stuff. Things like things you want to treasure and save, uh, including your first prom corsage. I don't know, whatever it is. Business safes, high security safes, jewelry safes, and of course, pistol safes. Go to the website, atlantasafehouse.com, and check out what they can offer you right now. And again, we're not talking about those little plastic boxes at the pharmacy with a little teeny key on them. That's not it. And you know that when they deliver your safety, they only use off-duty fire firefighters and cops and military folks to give them a little extra income as well to say thank you for what you do. That's how these people feel about America. Please tell them the Kimmer sent you. Look them up. They have a showroom in Ackworth. And when you check them out, check them out and tell them the Kimmer sent you to AtlantaSafeHouse.com. Hey, it's Front Office Lowe's for Howard Brothers. Howard Brothers has everything for your yard. Lawnmowers, string trimmers, edgers, chainsaws, chippers, shredders, hedge trimmers, handheld and backpack blowers, real mowers, rotary mowers, spray Sprayers, pressure washers, compact tractors. The list goes on and on. And they sell the best premium brands that will last and not frustrate you when you're ready to use them. Now with seven locations around town. Alpharetta, Athens, Dallas, Dorval, Duluth, Lula, and Oakwood. Why go anywhere else? Howard Brothers has everything for your yard. Buying a new car is about way more than just a car. You want to love it and everything that comes with it. And at Subaru of Gwinnett, we get that. You want to love the website. Easy to browse easy to shop, and an unrivaled selection so you can find the model that suits you. Like the 2024 Subaru Outback, Crosstrek, or Ascent. All offering impressive gas mileage, standard symmetrical all-wheel drive, and the tools to explore the things you love. You want to love the people. And know that every time you stop by the dealership on Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, they'll be there for you, ready to help in any way possible. And you want to love the service. We'll check that box for you also. Because during the spring sales event, there's a lot to love. So stop in during the Subaru A Lot to Love event, and you'll find just that, a lot to love. Start your shopping online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com and find the ride that best suits you. Because love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Subaru of Gwinnett, Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, and online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com. Millions of guys suffer from erectile dysfunction. That's one in four men. And I can tell you, I'm one of them. If you or someone you know suffer from ED, Peyronie's disease, or PE, here's 38-year emergency room doctor and founder of Total Body Therapy of Georgia, Dr. Eric Deal. Patients who enter my office are often frustrated, hopeless, depressed, and embarrassed. I understand the problem, and I'm going to help you fix it. There are lots of competitors that don't have the credentials that I have. When you go to other clinics, you're not going to see board-certified physicians with the experience that I have. When you come to our clinic, you're going to see me. There's just not one therapy that can solve these complex issues. I'll do a complete history and physical prior to any treatment that we use. 
Take it from me, Dr. Deal. When it's not hard, it's really hard. Call Dr. Deal for your free one-on-one evaluation and resolve your ED, bronies, or PE issues. Total Body Therapy of Georgia, 404-777-1911. 404-777-1911. Online at stopmyed.com. Join a Second Chance Bail Bond CEO Daniel Madelon and host Tug Coward for the weekly radio show Back Your Blue. They will highlight special initiatives, criminal justice programs, and community events aimed at keeping our communities safer. Tune in Saturdays at 10 a.m. to learn some good news about and from the law enforcement and justice communities. Tune in on Saturdays or catch up on all past episodes wherever you get your podcasts or at thepodcastpark.com. Is this the year you want to grow your business? Do you want to expand your team? Build a new office? Hey, it's Tug, and I want to tell you about First Liberty Building and Loan. Aren't you exhausted by going to lenders, building a relationship, and a week later, you're dealing with a new person? You won't have to with First Liberty Building and Loan. The Frost family has been helping businesses grow since the 90s, and they can help you too. They know the patterns, they know the ebbs and flows, and they know business. Now the Frost family wants to know you. FirstLibertyGA.com. Buying a building, building a building, buying a franchise, or expanding. Reach out and spend 10 minutes with them. See if you're a fit for them and if they're a fit for you. FirstLibertyGA.com. By the way, if you're a young banker and you want to work with a team that's faith-friendly with a culture of excellence, First Liberty might be a good match. Reach out to First Liberty Building and Loan at FirstLibertyGA.com. That's FirstLibertyGA.com. All right, look out. How you doing? It's only me. It's only the Kimmer, Pete and Flounder, 437. I've heard this song before. T-Rex. Don't know anything about him. It's a British group. Are these yes. British group? British. And they're pretty well known, I think. I know the name. They were in the early what. 70s. Then their yeah. lead singer, Mark Boland, wrapped his car around a tree or something. Oh, so. boy. Well, on uh, this day, 1971, T-Rex was number one on the British chart with Hot Love. Their first of four British number ones. Uh, the two performances of the song in March of 71 on top of the Pops saw Bolin, it just gives the last name here, Bolin dressed for the first time on television in shiny satin stage wear and glittery makeup were a crucial trigger for the glam rock movement. Yep. And uh, 1971 on the British uh, beat anyway, at least. Uh, now, break a news story coming up here for you a second. Also, Pete's tweets and more Flounder's Funnies. Look, as a birthday list, birthday list includes uh, 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 a birthday list and a history list together in one, t- one thing. Ursula Andress, 88 years old today. Ursula Andress was the first Bond girl, honey writer in Dr. No, 1962. She's that blonde bombshell coming out of the water in a bikini with a knife on her hip when Sean Connery hits the beach. That was uh, Ursula Andress is 88, and th- that was uh, that's heard this day today. And on this day in history in 1964, Sean Connery started shooting his role in the movie Goldfinger. Which Same day of her birthday. Got, and earlier today, it was uh, said that Aaron Taylor Johnson, the actor, was right. Who was, I think he's American, was handed the James Bond role, but he's yeah. coming out saying no. He uh, doesn't want to do it. In fact, uh, here, here's Aaron Taylor Johnson formally offered the chance to play James Bond. Uh, the, the early story says this. Um, uh, Bond, is, uh, according to the producer, Bond is Aaron's job should he wish to accept it. The formal offer's on the table. They're waiting to hear back. As far as we're concerned, Aaron's going to sign his contract in the coming days. They can start preparing for the big announcement. He's going to take over the reins from Daniel Craig. Uh, uh, I stand corrected. He is English. Oh, is he? Yeah. And, and he was in Tenet. I don't know what that is. Uh, he st- he uh, starred as a teenage John Lennon in Nowhere Boy in 2009. Okay, you're saying things no one's up. First of all, Tenet was Christopher Nolan, the Batman guy, did that, and no one went and saw it. Uh, he's well, been. I'm, I'm the- trying to give his, his thing here. He was 18 when he met. Oh, oh, oh here's it. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, he, he appeared in major films including Kick Ass, mm-hmm. uh, Anna Karenina. Godzilla, mm-hmm. Nocturnal Animals, and Tenet, T E N E T. And he, listen to this, he went on to star uh, as a teenage John Lennon in Nowhere Boy in 2009, where he met his now wife and the film's director, Sammy Taylor Wood. 
Taylor Johnson, the guy who's going to be the new Bond. No, he's not. Or not going to be the new Bond. Taylor Johnson, the not new Bond, was 18 years old when he met Taylor Wood, who was 42. Uh, You should see her now. And they got married three years later when she was 45 and he was 21. And they're still married. Yeah. It's not pretty. Well... Good. For, uh, he must. Uh, oh hell! Uh, 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 who's the Bosnia? Who's the uh, other uh, James Bond with the spaghetti arms? Bosnia, Bosner, Roger Moore. Right, no, no, no. The other one. The, the, the latest. Uh, uh, his name is Bosnia or Bosnick or something. What the hell are you talking oh, about? The, the James Bond character who had real skinny arms and he, you know, he's black hair. Pierce he's, Brosnan. Brosnan. See, I had was a B and an R and there and an O. I knew it. I had like three of them. What's your point? I don't remember now. <laughs> all right. First Crap. of all, Aaron Taylor Johnson is Quicksilver in the Marvel's oh. Avengers movies. Well, That's what I, everybody knows. Him. Okay, that it's not in the story, so okay, I'm not going to read it because I don't but know that. I didn't know he was English, but he claims he's turning it down. He's, he doesn't want it. Yeah. Well, I guess he wants to do other things. When you do a Bond, you got to do Bond for a while, I guess. Yeah, I'm telling you, they should get that guy from uh, the gentleman. Uh, yeah. His name is Theo James. He'd be perfect. Yeah. Anyway, I mentioned uh, Pierce Brosnan because I believe Pierce, if I'm thinking of the right one, Pierce Brosnan is married to a woman for a very long time who's exceedingly overweight. and is No, not, not anymore. She's lost weight. Oh, really? Well, but good for him. Either, that either way, it doesn't matter. He loves to him. her. He loved her, and he stayed with her, and she was very, very overweight for him, and he's been with her a long time. So uh, God bless him. Worries me, I'm happy Aaron Taylor Johnson, because there's always been rumors about the you know May September. What's the guy who played Wolverine? Hugh Jackman oh, yeah. was with a much older woman. Now they've since uh, divorced, hmm. and there was always these rumors that it was like a beard situation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They say, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, this, I this guy's a good-looking guy. He can have any woman in the world, and he's married think. someone who's yeah. 30 well, years older than him. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, kind of a shock. Anyway, so there you go. All right, uh, 442. What's your big story there? Uh, oh, this is kind of, this, uh, no, I, 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 I'm just hearing about this. It's just breaking. Hold on, i got to get my uh, froggy on here. Okay, in fact, I'm going to put it up to my face. Uh, judge has ruled illegal immigrants have gun rights protected by the American Second Amendment. No, <laughs> they don't. Judge, girl judge Sharon Coleman uh, said a federal prohibition on illegal immigrants owning firearms is unconstitutional as applied to one particular guy named Jalberto Calabrado de Floreso. The court, if I may have mispronounced that, the court found that while the federal ban is facially constitutional, there is no historical tradition of firearm regulation that permits the government to deprive a non citizen who has never been convicted of a violent crime from exercising his Second Amendment rights. This girl court judge wrote the non-citizen possession statute violates the Second Amendment as applied to this guy. Thus, the court grants this guy motion to dismiss. Uh, this girl judge is an Obama uh, President Putitat appointee. She started a, a landmark Supreme Court decision with the uh, NRA establishing a new standard to determine whether a law violates the Second Amendment. A uh, multitude of federal and state gun control measures have been challenged in court. In this case, the court considered whether people who enter the country illegally can be banned from owning firearms. Uh, he was found in possession of a handgun in Chicago in, uh, four years ago, charged of violating a federal law. Uh, the judge, though, denied the motion to dismiss, uh, finding the ban was constitutional. But this girl judge said uh, they wanted they wanted to reconsider, and then she says, uh, upon review, the uh, illegally present status was not sufficient to deny him Second Amendment rights. Holy crap. That, that'll be overturned. A non-citizen cannot carry a gun around in the U.S. The judge said the, quote, plain text of the Constitution presumptively protects firearms possession by undocumented persons. No. no. I don't believe I've seen the word undocumented persons in the Constitution. No. Holy criminy. That's, that's, I mean, that's unbelievable. They're making a, a farce of the Second Amendment to try and get rid of it, and it's not going to work, biatch. I mean, I, I, I mean I, I'm, little, I'm astounded. You know, if they try to outlaw guns, you know, we'll just carry them, uh, you know, yeah. underground. We, uh, we just I, won't I, hand over any of them. God. Which you're never going to do anyway. <sighs> 444. <laughs> just, I, geez. It's just insane. And, and again, this girl, this influence, a quick uh, brief on this influencer here. We're uh, coming up on break time. She's a conservative social media influence. Her name is Isabella DeLuca. She's 24 years old, Long Island, a Long Island native, a congressional intern, formerly one of several rioters who passed a table from a Senate terrace room to people outside the building. Okay? She helped people move a table outside the building. 
The table then was used supposedly against law enforcement blocking their way or something, which means that she was helping guard, uh, prevent the officers from guarding the Tower of the American over here. Yeah, okay, okay. And she was in a restricted area, charged with theft of government property, disorderly conduct, entering a restricted area. Uh, she was maced. Uh, she said later, I have kind of mixed feelings about it. Well, they've arrested her for breaching the Capitol <laughs> uh, three years after it happened. I mean, my God. It's a message. It's just... It, Don't it's cross un- us. It's unbelievable. She's got a legal defense fund that's raised $1,800. Boy, you're really supporting her around that. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, they're going... To, uh, and by the way, again, you know, they, a lot of the people they arrested, which a lot of them didn't go to jail, but they got arrested and had to spend all their money on lawyers and stuff, they got it by looking at their cell phone records. Remember they found... They, they went to Visa and MasterCard and said, we want to know who charged an airplane ticket to Washington, D.C. on January 6th, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then tracked them down and they got their cell phone records to see who was in... whose cell phone was in the Capitol. And that's how they could prove that they were, if they, if they got like a back shot of his head, they could prove he was there because they got a cell phone. It's just unfreak. I, I mean, this is this it's is, not America. This is worse than Nazi Germany and Venezuela. This is this is this is really outrageous. But especially when you know, uh, especially when you compare it to what we used to be. What what we, we were as the founding fathers. We were the last generation that could disappear. Uh, yeah. Do you know that? No one today can disappear. That's right. You can be tracked. Get in your car and leave and start a new life across the country. You can't do that anymore. Uh, 446, Kim Repeat and Flounder. How's it going? 404 741 Unless you kill someone and take their stuff. Well, no, that's identity. Well, I'm sure, but it's always worked before. Uh, 404 741 1230, Kim Repeat and Flounder. (laughs) No background checks here. It's Tuesday. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, Flounder took off for the day, so we'll just keep talking here because we want to be able to. (laughs) He's got got nine duties in there. uh, We're going to our break time here. 447, if you like. No, 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 whatever. We're we're, we're good. Is a computer froze again? (laughs) Poor bastard. It's all good, Flounder. It's going to be fine. You go see Veronica later and everything. We can do whatever we want. We can go as long as you want. That's what she said. (laughs) Not often. Yeah. To you. She said, too. (laughs) (laughs) She said that, too. The legend Neil Bortz is only on Extra 106.3. Hey, it's Tug, and here's what you missed from the Talkmaster. In in my attempt to uh, learn more Spanish, I've been trying to learn how to say SpongeBob SquarePants. Esponje de Roberto Pantalones Cuadrados. There you go. <laughs> the things that you will focus on when learning Spanish. <laughs> Catch Neil's commentary every day on Extra 106.3 or listen anytime on the Extra 106.3 app. Well, Sally, thank you for your time. But unfortunately, we can't offer you the position. But why? Well, we got the results of your background check, and we saw some red flags. Like what? Apparently, you were accused of dognapping a chihuahua named Mr. Cha-Cha. Mr. Cha-Cha was my soulmate. At Horizon Background Screening, we find things that other companies don't. That's why companies that use us make smarter hiring decisions. Don't let the wrong hire put your company at risk. Get the real story on your candidates at horizonscreening.com. Neil Bortz here. Maybe you've already taken the steps to improve your health, maybe save your life. You're using a CPAP for your sleep apnea. I've been using one for well over 20 years. So right now I'm here to tell you about a source for CPAPs and CPAP supplies here in the Atlanta area. CPAPs, etc. They're in Alpharetta. They have whatever you need. Roddy and Sharon are your CPAP experts and they'll ship nationwide. More information, CPAPs, ET Introducing Sonder Health Plans, your trusted local partner for Medicare Advantage in Georgia. Only in Georgia. With Sonder, you'll get comprehensive coverage that's tailored to your needs. They offer $0 primary care visits, $0 premiums, and access to a wide network of Georgia health care providers. Visit SonderHealthPlans.com now to learn more about their valued-based care that won't break the bank. Or call 888-428-4440. Sonder Health Plans, your your doctors, your neighbors, your friends. Hey, Atlanta. It's Ben, host of the Weekend Ben Burnett Show, proudly brought to you by Peach State Pride. Each and every weekend, we bring you all the issues going on around the globe and what America's ultimate role is in order to drive our agenda forward as conservatives. And if you ever miss an episode, you can download everything I've ever done on Apple, Spotify, or you can go to the podcast park. See you around, Atlanta. 
On Thursday, March 28th, the Atlanta Braves will celebrate opening day with an opening day block party in Summerhill, one of Atlanta's most historic neighborhoods. In the lead up to the 50th anniversary of Hank Aaron's record-breaking 715th home run at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, the Braves invite fans to return to the scene of that historic moment to usher in the 2024 season. Fans will enjoy a block party along Georgia Avenue with live music, entertainment, and so much more as the Braves celebrate opening day. Visit Braves.com slash watch parties to check out the fun. Hey, sandwich lovers. Today is your lucky day. There's a whole new way to roll for lunch or dinner delight with Nucky's Hoagies in the Roswell Corners Shopping Center. Now open. Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell is family owned and operated by the subsisters, Stacy and Shannon, whose love language is food and Nucky's Hoagies, their passion. When you bite into a Nucky's Hoagie, you'll taste the difference. The softest hoagie rolls ever, along with hunger quenching sandwich combinations. Make Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell on Woodstock Road your new favorite spot for lunch or dinner. <laughs> the subsisters, baby. Rock and roll. 451. Kimber, Pete, and Flounder. It's only freaking Tuesday. This is their Almond Brothers period, I think, of the... <laughs> you think this sounds like the Almond Brothers? It reminds me of the Almond Brothers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> I sit back down there, mister. <laughs> 1965, Taylor and Cutter Magazine read an article asking the Rolling Stones to start wearing ties. <laughs> <laughs> 1965. The current fashion did not include wearing ties with shirts, and many tie makers were facing financial disaster. Mick Jagger said of the appeal to wear ties, the trouble with a tie is it can dangle in the soup. It's also something extra to which a fan can hang when you're trying to get in and out of a theater. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> uh, ties are silly. I mean, I mean you know, although I, 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 I like getting in, uh, dressed up with a tie and putting a tie on. I do my Marine Corps knot, and I can still do it blindfolded and have it come out exactly a half inch with the over thing on the half inch above the uh, the under thing. The older I get, the more I like dressing up. I don't know what that's all about. Mm. Well, one day we should dress up, my guy. No, I'll forget it. I'm sorry. At, at your funeral, you. well, we got it all set up. Well, I, I'll, I, I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> got the outfit picked out. Yeah, I do you, boy, golly. <laughs> What's the over and under lately? If somebody got me a Christmas, <laughs> I could have two or three more Christmases left. <laughs> yeah. Think about it like that. Yeah, think about that. I might have two or three more summer vacations. <laughs> this isn't your last Christmas, Kimmer. Oh, Lord. I, I'm sure I've got three, two or three more left, probably. <laughs> I've got to be the oldest afternoon drive time to, uh, radio full time talk show host in the country. That's still rocking. I can't believe it. Uh, birthdays include ah uh, Ruth Pointer, seventy eight. The Pointer Sisters, fire. He's so shy. Slow hand jump. Automatic jump. He's love that song. The Pointer Sisters. Uh, so, uh, Ruth Pointer, seventy eight years old today. And on this day in history, in nineteen fifty three, the Academy Awards televised for the first time. Bob Hope was the host. The best picture went to The Greatest Show on Earth. Remember when we had Bob Hope or Johnny Carson, somebody with panache yeah, right. and style? Classy. To do the hosts. Oscars. Yeah, right. And now you got just an unending parade of non-talented that last, and, and they brought in that last comedian guy. Who, Kimmel. I mean, it's just, he's just not talented. Yeah. And, they're, and now they're bringing in comedians for the, like the Grammys or the, uh, all the, the other it's ones. Low it's low rent. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really kind of silly. Uh, 454 almost with the Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. How's it going? Donald Trump, I think, again, I think it's just one, one word, probably too many here. Uh, the former president is railing against Jews who vote for Democrats. Uh, he says, any Jewish... No, uh, by the way, me too. I mean, yeah, uh, honestly, uh, for the record, if you are a Jewish person and you vote for a Democrat, you're an idiot. How could you possibly do that? Look what they have done. Seriously. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that's that's where I go. Okay. Donald Trump says, quote, any Jewish person that votes for Democrats hates their religion. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> um, uh, they hate everything about Israel, and they should be ashamed of themselves because Israel will be destroyed under Democrat leadership. 
He noted Iran's ambition to create a nuclear weapon and the administration of uh, President Crime Family easing of sanctions against their adversary. He said the Democrat Party hates Israel. Uh, except into Senate Majority Leader Chuck, the suspected child molester Schumer, recent criticism of Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu's handling of the Jewish state war. Uh, guys like Schumer see that in the, him, it's votes. I think it's votes more than anything else because he was always pro-Israel. It's anti-Israel Israel now. And, of course, the Biden campaign are saying, well, uh, the person should be ashamed here is Donald Trump. And then they say, Donald Trump openly demeans Jewish Americans and reportedly thinks Adolf Hitler did some good thing. Here they go with the Adolf Hitler thing again. That's all they have. Every time they react to Donald Trump, they say, well, he loves Hitler. But again, Trump says, if you're a, Jew, if you're a Jewish and vote for Democrat, you hate your religion, which is silly. But he again, wouldn't you're be, an idiot. He wouldn't be trying to overthrow Netanyahu like Biden is, openly trying to overthrow I, I, an I, allies' the, government. The is an allies' government trying to overthrow their government. That's the CIA in Vietnam, for God's sakes, and every other country, foreign Chile, country in the world that we don't know Ar- about. Iran. Yeah. How did all that work out? Yeah. Well, it was their job. That's what they did. The CIA's job was to overthrow governments that weren't friendly to us. And they did a pretty good job of it, basically. But Israel's yeah. like with Britain. Our but greatest not Israel, allies, not Israel. And, and he's trying to overthrow yeah, their government. Uh, I, 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 I can't I've never heard it. of a president doing something like. And and what's his face? Trump was the guy who moved the, uh, the embassy, embassy to, to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, where it should that no other presidents had the balls to do. They all said it. They all said they were going to do it. They all said they wanted to do it. They all said we demand to do it, and Trump did it. Mm-hmm. You want to hear something frightening? I do. New York Post has a story. They took a poll. The the city of New York took a poll Mm. that shows within the next five years, half of all New Yorkers say they will be gone. Good. They will lit. No, because you know where they're going. Well, unless unless they're fed up and looking no, for a new way. No, they're idiots. They're still going to vote Democrat because well, they're smarter well, and morally superior to us. Well. I don't get it. It's like I stood in line a couple years ago in Sandy Springs yeah. to vote, and there's a loud New Yorker running his mouth in the back going, yeah, I moved down here. You know, I vote as much as I can. And I tell you what, I vote Democrat. And, and I just turned around and looked, and it was just looking at him going, How st- you're going to yeah. screw up here like you screwed up there? Why, why would you come here if, if you want to make it like Because it's a better life here. But yeah. they think they're morally and intellectually superior to us. Well. They're, they're here to teach us a lesson, Kimmer. I'll tell you, if they, if they go, if they get Donald Trump's properties, which is more and more likely, if he can't get a bond, they, she's going to she's going to take the Letitia James going to take his properties and hold them until he can get the money, which maybe never. If nobody will give him the money, <laughs> if a bank won't lend him Donald Trump a, a half a billion dollars. Oh, by the way, thirty percent of New York only thirty yeah. percent of New Yorkers say they're happy with living there. I'll bet that's not even that high. And can it's you just going to get worse in that city. It's just going to get worse, now, especially now. Yeah. Holy criminy. Uh, wow, four fifty-seven already. We have to, we have a little thing. Flounder, we have uh, one more to go, right? Uh, we have a little something here with a little thing. Uh, the four fifty-seven for our good. Uh, the uh, lucky. Oh, wait paper. a minute! I think we still have a. We oh, do we caller? have a phone call? Phone call. Yes, we do. Oh, we have Rick the Painter. Rick, oh my God, Rick! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have a screen in front of me, so I didn't. I'm so sorry. You're on the radio. Five. Hey. You're still there, even. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, brother. I'm just loving to listen to you guys and. Uh-huh. All the seriousness aside, I know it's been it's crazy, <laughs> but it is actually today is Tuesday. It's only Tuesday, but it is National Laugh Day today. L- laugh Day, yes, it, there it is. Yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. And you know, so it's the perfect time for all of. Well, you were talking about Weinstein earlier. Yeah. So it's a perfect day for all of Weinstein's victims to laugh at him today. It's a good day to laugh. And his first job when he went to prison, nobody knows this. It's yeah. a very. But anyway, yeah. his first job yeah. was. To clean the warden's son's tuba, his son played the tuba yeah. in the high school band. I'll be done. Anyway, he had to clean the tuba, and it was yeah. really humiliating in front of all the other prisoners. Yeah. You know what he used to clean the tuba? Well, with? What did he use to clean the tuba there, uh, Rick Painter? <laughs> Tuba toothpaste. Tuba toothpaste. Oh, hey. Hi, I'm too, so in other words, it would be like toothpaste, but it would be for a tuba. Instead of saying tube of, it would be like tuba ah. You got brass, oh, brass balls brass, to say that. Oh, my like God. That. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Now, the tuba is not the same as a sousaphone. I'm sorry. Or as a baritone. A, as, a, as a former first chair trombone player, I uh, have to correct you on that. First stuff. chair baritone. Well, baritones blow. Trombones rule. Trombones are. Basically By the way, I'm kind slide. of upset that you guys haven't noticed anything about me today. <clears throat> what, you don't have a trombone with you? What? I shaved off my entire side whiskers. Oh, that shows how much we noticed them. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. 
<laughs> I shaved off my entire side beard. I shaved my beard off. You didn't say anything. I did, and you shaved your head too. You went the whole banana no, there I recently. Well, you know, I, I, that's going back a little bit. By the way, did you enjoy the peach sweets we did earlier? Like yeah, we always yeah, say we're really going to do, but yeah, we never and do. The, and the flounder's funny too. We got both of those in right before. Oh God, uh, five o'clock. That's what she said. <laughs> I swear to God, it's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of you. WFOM and W292EV Marietta, a Dickey Broadcasting Station. This hour is presented by Lee Brandt Jewelry and Watches. House calls it unconstitutional. Lisa Brady, Fox News. After a Supreme Court win for Texas on immigration, the justice is ruling 6-3 to three to lift a stay, allowing enforcement of a new state law while a legal fight continues in lower courts. The law makes entering the U.S. illegally already a federal offense, a state crime, allowing police in the state to arrest and detain people believed to have illegally crossed the border. The U.S. Justice Department argues it's a violation of long-standing federal authority that could create chaos and hurt foreign relations. Fox's Jared Halper and the Texas governor accuses the administration of failing to prevent what he calls an invasion of the southern border. The White House says today's ruling is another example of Republican officials politicizing the border and blocking solutions. Former President Trump just telling reporters our country is being invaded and many of these people are criminals. This after voting in the Florida primary and slamming President Biden. He's the worst president we've ever had and I'm looking forward to November 5th. A feeling that appears to be mutual. We're going to beat him again. Yeah. President Biden campaigning in Nevada, where he also gives a speech on steps to lower housing costs before heading to Arizona, one of five states holding primaries today. The former Joint Chiefs chair says the State Department waited too long to order a non-combatant evacuation during the 2021 withdrawal from Afghanistan, which turned chaotic and ultimately deadly with a terror attack that killed 13 U.S. service members. The outcome in Afghanistan was the cumulative effect of many decisions over many years of war. And like any complex phenomena, there's no single causal factor that determine the outcome, but multiple factors in combination. The now retired General Mark Milley tells a House hearing he had recommended keeping at least 2,500 troops there, but only until diplomatic conditions of a peace deal were met, and that it wasn't clear when or if those conditions would ever be met. America is listening to Fox News. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save the typical family 500 bucks a month. And that's huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The customer satisfaction rate is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. So maybe you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want to plan you're much happier with. Here's the number you need. 844-53-BIBLE. That's 844-53-BIBLE. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Rough, rough. It's only me, it's only the Kimmer, don't be afraid, 503, with Pete Davison flounder at the controls on 106.3 Happy Freaking Tuesday. A lot of newsy stuff going on here today. Uh, they stopped going back live to the hearing, and they just, I'm they're totally disappointed with Fox News. Normally, they carry stuff like this live the whole time, and this time they did not. The hearing at the Armed Services Committee in the House uh, with the two generals, <clears throat> the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Silly Millie. The uh, pronoun and uh, pedicure king, and also that Marine General McKenzie, both of them retired now and in, uh, wearing civilian clothes. And uh, 
Just, just, you know, they say, well, we're going to get to the bottom of the withdrawal of Afghanistan. <clears throat> yeah, please. Yeah, you're going to get to the uh, right to the bottom of that, I'll bet you. They still, uh, they talked a long time about the Marine sniper had the bomber in his sights for the 13 people killed, the 12, 11 Marines and the soldier and sailor, and he had the, uh, a bomber in his sights, suicide bomber, and he never got permission to fire. you got to be kidding me. Did they get an answer to it from no. either of those generals? No. And, and by the way, there's also, they're trying to get information, which uh, Silly Millie uh, uh, said he would provide. They're trying to get the time documents and every bit of communication, language, lingo, text, and everything else that was said that day about the event. About the event at Abbey's Gate. And so, you know, anyway. Uh, so we, that, that hearing is, I guess, overended. And, and I, there's, there's very little coverage of it. Very, I, I'm still looking at Fox News. Still nothing. I know. What the hell is going on? It's a major. That, that's a. I mean, my God. And I, you would think it would be a major political story. You think it would be a. Well. <clears throat> right. Another another major uh, news story. You may have heard. I guess it was on the five o'clock news. I was busy. Uh, the administration Supreme Court ruled that Texas can continue for now at least. Building walls and arresting illegals if they see them actually coming over and they can prove a thing. They can actually stop and put up their own wall and arrest people entering the United States until, at least until, the end of a court case that is winding its way through the courts of whether they actually have the right to do it. Uh, the, the Biden people, the Hate America people and the Biden and the team tried to stop the offense building and the arresting. And this court said, no, they can do it while... We're going through the court case. Can you remember a time in your life, and under Obama a little bit, that the federal government of the United States seemed to work against what most Americans want and need and seemed to be on the complete opposite of every issue of you? No. I, never, 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 never. In fact, it was just the opposite. It was, you know, get root to the bottom. Hell, when Nixon, they couldn't do enough to try to get, you know, root out and get rid of the media and everything else. And and now, I mean, hell, it started under Putty Tat, really, is where, where this all began. What he did after the uh, 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 Ferguson, Missouri business, and the cops were shown to have nothing, did nothing wrong. So he sent the federal authorities in and charged him with a federal crime. And again, they were cleared. But he, all of that, and by the way, he sent about nine people to the administration to the funeral of, of Michael Brown, but they didn't do squat for the, uh, the highest ranking American officer killed in Afghanistan. I mean, it's just, just freaking people. <laughs> I mean, just hypocrites, liars, cheaters. They'll, you know, the business of the bloodbath. Oh, God, just absolutely freaking appalling. Absolutely appalling. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, by the way, holy crap! At sports is coming up. More flounders, funnies coming up. Pete's tweets coming up. Sure, and, sure. Yeah, yes. we sure they are. I know. Well, we had a we had a we had a long busy day, and I'm kind of upset you didn't notice I shaved off my side to my beard part. Well, I shaved a real beard off, and you didn't. No, say I, I didn't notice, but but you do that all the time, and you you yeah. do a beard, and then you shave it off, and you beard and shave, and you do that four, five, six times a year. Mm. At least. I mean, you do it every I month. I do it every year. My birthday, because I came in hairless so I, every year. Yeah, well, and I did mine today because it was, and I still believe this is wrong. It's the, officially the first day of spring, which always used to be March 21st. And the overnight March 21st, March 22nd was the uh, of This has really equinox. thrown you for a loop, it's hasn't thrown me it? for a loop. I, I don't, and this morning, and night, you know, I was up early and uh, and because uh, I wanted to watch the rest of the stupid Bachelor, which, by the way, I hate because I stupidly Googled it and I found out who won, who, who, who got him. <sighs> Jeez. Anyways, why would you do that? I, I'm an idiot. I, I just googled to see you know, if it was going to if it was going to be on next week or they were delayed or whatever, and it said uh, the Bachelor 24 and the win, the girl, and I went ah, oh, oh. like that's just stupid, you know. Anyway, um, so that's right. <laughs> so, so I have a question for you. Yeah, should I be concerned? Of, you know, what's a bank good for? N- numbers, uh, numbers, yeah, numbers of money's numbers, yeah. right? Right. So I go to my bank today. And according to their old desk calendar, it's still Monday, March 6th. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about their ability uh, to... Was there anybody in the bank at all? Yeah, <laughs> there's people there. They're nice and friendly people. It's right down the street here. Well, but... they, you know, the cut, they probably had to fire their their calendar guy. Calendar you know? guy's been laid, <laughs> yeah. laid off. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> Just, <laughs> they had one job. Well, the economy. You know. One job. <laughs> uh, 508, cover Pete and Flounder. Uh, so we got that stuff with, Diana, with the thing. Letitia James is uh, going after his property. No bank apparently is going to lend Donald Trump the money for bond that he has to post. Again, the whole thing is ridiculous. There's th- this is the same judge who valued Mara Largo at $18 million. Somebody sold a similar property just recently it's for joke. $400 million. I mean, I mean, just out, they, they were out to get him, and they did. It's a, They made the law a farce. And by the way, they, oh, and in fact, I just, where the hell, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
Um, Rule of Man. I, no, no. Obama started oh, here, that. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, check this out. Uh, the, another story in the news we didn't quite get to. 509, Kimber, Pete, and Flounder. Holy crap, a sport's coming up. A new lawsuit alleges that the mayor of New York, the idiot Eric Adams, former cop, demanded sex acts while he was a police officer in exchange for helping a woman on the force. The lawsuit says a girl learned, and ch- here's why I'm bringing this up now. This woman named Beach, she says a hyphenated something, learned in the fall last year that New York had passed a law allowing survivors of sexual assault to come forward years after an attack. And thus, she felt compelled to bring the behavior of the former police officer and Mayor Adams to light. They passed this law to get Donald Trump. The only reason this was Letitia James's goal was to get Donald Trump. So she had the New York legislature pass a law that replied to people who claim sexual assault problems years before the statute of limitations would mm-hmm. apply can still do it. And that's when this girl, the uh, uh, good chick, filed a lawsuit against Donald Trump. The law was passed singularly, one purpose, yeah, to, to get, get, get Donald Trump. And now it's being used by this woman in the police force saying Eric Adams made her uh, get hippity hoppity boop. And when she refused to do it, uh, he uh, cook a lock a look a lock it on his own all over, apparently. I don't even know. Real quick, you got a call. John is on the line, and he's curious how a billionaire can be so broke. Uh, John, good question. I have the same feeling myself. Uh, how can I be so broke? And I'm not even a billionaire. It's a damn thing. Hey, John, welcome aboard. What's, what do you think, man? Hey, yeah, I was just saying, I mean, I, you know, he's supposed to have all this money. But I don't think he really does. I just well, think it's part of his con, you know. Well, no, it's not uh, a con. He has assets. I but but, that, but, but nobody, if, if nobody, now I want you to think about how many quote unquote billionaires there are out there that no financial institution will touch them. I mean, I think there's a good reason. It's because he's a con. You know, there's a reason that he had to go to Russia to get. Oh, this is well, this is liberal, John. Yeah, when they had the hookers pee on him. Yeah, were you there, or do you have any pictures? I'd like to buy some pictures of Trump getting peed on by the Russian hookers. Come on, John, I, I, give me a break. I, I, He's got assets. That, I, He'd have to nobody. sell his assets, and that's why no, no. billionaires don't have billion dollars and twenty dollar bills in the bank vault. And, nobody, and nobody does. Nobody will loan him any money. That tell well, you because be, no, because of the properties in New York, or no, because of New York State, no, who would want to take a, a chance? Because he's a con. Oh, please. A con what do you mean he's a con artist? He's a former president he's of the United States, artist. the only president he's who would even. Oh, okay. Is that Thank all you can John. say? Is he's a con artist? He's a con artist. Thank you, John. Yeah, thank you, John. He's a Good artist. lord, he's, a he's, he's like All a parrot. Can say. I mean, you know, I, I talk about a one-trick pony. You're trying to explain liquidity and assets. No, 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 no. He caught. No, no, no. He had. He didn't have any intention of asking a legitimate question of why a billionaire doesn't have any cash. Right. He, he called in. and He told Flounder, "Gee, how come a billionaire doesn't have any cash?" Flounder said, "Boy, it's a great question, as you should." And I said, "Boy, great question. We'll talk about it." And then, of course, it's obvious. Well, because he was a con. Because he's been a fraud. And I'm mean, going. Oh, here we go. He just wanted to be on the radio to say, boy, I really got the kimmer. Hey, I made him talk about Donald Trump being a con. <laughs> I bet you're whacking the old shillelagh right now just for playing back the replay to make sure he can, oh, I got the kimmer, I got the kimmer, I got the kimmer, I got the ah! Scuzzhead. Chuck a con. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck a con. A con. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we'd work the shillelagh into it. <laughs> Waxing the old shillelagh today. But <laughs> flogging the bishop. <laughs> Load the torpedo tubes. <laughs> We're coming into shore. <laughs> okay, time for a break, I think. 513. Uh, Holy crap, it's sports. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to do nine Flounders Funnies in a row next with the Kimber, Pete, and Flounder. I never break my word. Probably, maybe. <laughs> Atlanta Radio Legends Collide on Extra 1063. The legend Neil Bortz is live every week with Atlanta legend The Kimmer. Because when you get these two guys together, who knows where we'll end up? I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. The Kimmer is live on your drive home every weekday afternoon from 3 to 6. And now Neil Bortz joins this show every week. And if you miss it, catch up anytime on the Extra 1063 app. 
True Prep on Cobb Parkway is your one-stop shop for emergency preparedness supplies, including freeze-dried food, water filtration, first aid, and more. They also have a large selection of firearms, including a huge selection of AR-15s, firearm accessories, and ammo at the lowest prices around. They are locally owned and operated. You can visit their store in Marietta on Cobb Parkway or online at trueprep.com. That's T-R-U-Prep.com. Prepare today for a worry-free tomorrow at True Prep. Electrify your senses with user-friendly technology and earth-friendlier power. Meet the all-electric 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 350 sedan. Satisfying for both driver and passenger with innovations that only Mercedes-Benz can deliver. Experience the all-electric 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 350 sedan today. Lease one for just $579 per month for 36 months with 6703 due at signing exclusively from our RBM of Atlanta in Sandy Springs. Contact RBM of Atlanta for details on this vehicle and many other models. Visit today to see how to qualify. Special lease rate available only to qualified customers exclusively from Mercedes-Benz Financial Service through RBM of Atlanta Sandy Springs through April 1st, 2024. Excludes tax, tag title, and Georgia Lemon Law fees. Contact RBM of Atlanta for details on this and other exciting offers. Visit rbmofatlanta.com or call us at 770-390-0700 for details. Details. Central Heating and Air Conditioning wants you to know the start of the new season is the perfect time to ensure your home's comfort. Don't wait like most people do to have your HVAC system serviced. Your home should have maintenance twice a year. Maintenance helps keep your system running at peak efficiency and extends the life of your equipment. So turn to Atlanta's carrier experts for your system's maintenance at 770-GET-HEAT or centralheat.com. With Central, you get carrier products, carrier warranty, and carrier peace of mind. Plus, you know what's going to be here before you know it? The heat. It's allergy season in Central Heating and air can fix what ails your house and possibly your family with home ventilation and air quality products. Central has packages designed around health using variable speed, fresh air ventilation, air cleaners, air purifiers, dehumidifiers, and more. Central Heating and Air is one of the few second generation locally owned and operated HVAC companies in Atlanta. With Central, you're not just a number, you're a member of the family. It's been that way since 1947 and they've serviced over 100,000 customers right here in Atlanta. Call 770-GET-HEAT or go to centralheat.com. That's Central Heat. Com. Sequoia National Golf Club is located 45 minutes west of Asheville, North Carolina and nestled among the oak, fir, and flowered valleys in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains. Owned by the Eastern Band of the Cherokee, this Robert Trent Jones II design offers an idyllic 18-hole journey filled with panoramic vistas on every hole, beautiful landscapes, and a fun mountain golf experience. Enjoy a relaxed lunch or afternoon beverage on the outdoor deck with 180-degree views of the Great Smoky Mountains. The surrounding community also provides golfers a welcoming environment that is rich with Native American culture, and exciting year-round attractions. Sequoia National Golf Club is just four miles from Harris Cherokee Casino Resort. And just a short drive from Atlanta, experience a fun afternoon of golf with your friends or stick around for an epic stay-and-play weekend. Experience mountain golf at its finest and then go hit the casino floor. Book your tee time at sequoianational.com. That's sequoianational.com. Experience the majesty and beauty of Sequoia National, mountain golf at its finest. Hey, it's Front Office Lowe's for Underdog Fantasy. The NBA season is still here, and there's no easier way to get in on all the action than with Underdog Fantasy and their Pick'em game. It's a fantasy game, but you can win real money. It's easy. Pick two to five players from at least two different teams. Select higher or lower on the player stats, and if your pick hits, you can win up to 100 times your money. It's legal in Georgia, and it's a ton of fun to play as you can watch the Atlanta Hawks. Stop playing against the pros night in and night out with their hundreds of different lineups. It's just you against the stat. It's that easy. Underdog Fantasy is even easier to get started. Go to their easy-to-use mobile app or to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up and use the promo code LOS, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. That's Underdog Fantasy. Promo code LOS, L-O-S, to get your first deposit of 10 or more matched plus your special pick. Must be 18 and present in state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concern with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> he, was singing, he was singing along with you. <laughs> Stereo. There's Jefferson Starship, baby. Uh, 518. Uh, holy crap. All right. It's a different Pete and Flounder. And uh, I got a bunch of birthdays in history. And now, holy crap, it's sports with Pete Davis. Braves have today off, but still made news as predicted here. Yeah. 
Spencer Strider, his first and well-deserved opening day start nine days from now in Philadelphia. That is perfect timing. Nine days, two uh, five-day, five uh, five five-day things, five-day, four-day things. Perfect timing. All right. Excellent. He'll face the Phillies ace, Zach Wheeler. Neither pitcher yeah. has ever started an opening day. So Zach Wheeler hasn't started. Well, I know. That's cool. a little surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Phil's first baseman, Bryce Harper, resting a sore lower back during spring training, but he says mm-hmm. he might be ready by game one. Hopefully not, but yeah. we'll see. Right. Yeah. Reigning National League Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell, has finally signed. Got around to a two-year deal with the Giants. A lot of people saying why he wasn't signed earlier. Mm. And President-to-be Donald Trump says he doesn't like the name change, no sir, from the Cleveland Indians to the Guardians. Yeah. Uh, happened about four years ago, but well, why not? Let's, let's bring it up now. Play well it now. Well. Trump says he loves sports and tradition, and this new name is ridiculous. Well, Ohio uh, voting today, <laughs> big, uh, big, huge primary vote in Ohio, in Cleveland, Ohio, yeah. and that's why he was talking about Ohio and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. All right. Then. Uh, who you got in the first four today, the NCAA uh, men's tournament? Uh, Nebraska State. And then Nebraska over State. Weber uh, United, and I'll Close. take uh, Iowa. You got, over, uh, let's see, a 640. You got uh, Wagner against Howard. Oh, Howard, obviously. And that, and that, that's a black group, right? I believe oh, the brothers so. are going to run the ragged over those guys. I got to go with the brothers. Oh, the Germans, the Wagner. Got to go with the brothers. Okay, uh, they're making up for lost time, baby. I'll get, I'll get, oh, yeah. Colorado State taking on Virginia. Well, my daughter Jennifer got addicted to heroin and cocaine at Colorado State <laughs> University when I got her in there and drove her to the university and got her in her room and everything. So I'll go with Colorado State. <laughs> See how quick he turned that around to him. That's just <laughs> well. How many times would that come up that my Who daughter else? went there and got addicted? And she's now uh, who else? She's not. Uh, you know, she's still an addict, but she hasn't. Been, she's been clean for twenty look years. At, look at so. that. I can touch the screen oh my with my God, paper. What are you doing there? And it moves. You, I didn't just know your paper the screen. does it. And huh. it, but it does. It moves around. Yeah. I, well, that doesn't. That's not good. I can't read any of and it. And now, now you can't see your screen. No, I can't. So I'll just do <laughs> something else. God. ESPN will now carry the college football playoffs through 2032. They signed oh, a new deal today. Good lord. Yep. Uh, interim Alabama head football coach Kalen DeBoer signed an eight-year deal with the Crimson Tide. He's going to pay him ten million dollars a season. Oh, what? Let's put this in perspective. How much do you think Nick Saban made last year? The greatest coach of all time. Probably about that or a little around 10, 11, maybe. 10, 11. Nine, 11. Shh. 11. And this guy's getting a $100 million 10 year contract? Holy well, cow. something like that. Uh, let's see. Performance incentives for DeBoer. If he goes to the SEC championship game, he gets 75000 extra dollars. Yeah. All right. If he wins it, he'll get $125,000. Uh, if yeah. he goes to the college football playoffs, he gets 150 k To the quarterfinals, 250 k The semis, 400 k If he gets to the title game, he gets an extra 600 k And if he wins the damn thing, he gets an extra $875,000. Aren't so those... add up all yeah, that, I guess. Yeah. Aren't those goals supposed to be what he's doing anyway? Yeah. I mean, that's his job. That's why you hire him. Yeah. At Alabama, especially. Yeah. So why you got to give him incentive to do what he should I, be doing anyway? Well, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh, your Atlanta Hawks were the victims of an L.A. drive-by last night. They lost to the Lakers 136 uh, to 105. Uh, oh, wow. That's, that's 20, uh, 20 That's 30, yeah. 30 that's 31. Of, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of points. Uh, even General Custer thought that was a little yeah. overkill. Well, that when is. they start, you know, 150 to 142 in an NBA game, good Lord. Every year we start out with such hopes. <laughs> and every year. The bomb. It's the same thing. Uh, former Pittsburgh Penguin player Konstantin Koltsov has died after jumping from a Miami hotel balcony. Oh, my. Koltov was 42. Ironically, he's back on ice. Oh, God. Oh, gee. the man's dead. Oh, you vicious bastard. Oh, you heartless son of a bitch. <laughs> Was that too far? The man died. Was that too far? Oh, too soon. He's flying. He's flying. Big fan of Mr. Kultsov. Oh, for you. lordy! Uh, I apologize to the Kultsov family and all of Belarus oh, and any Belarusian listening. Well, those Belarusians. Are yeah, I don't want to piss them off. No, you don't, sir. Uh, by the way, they asked his former girlfriend is like uh, some big tennis player. Uh, female tennis oh, player. Oh, I read about that. She, yeah. yeah, and everything. And they go, Are "You going to play uh, in the tournament?" And she goes, "Yeah, I'm the ex." Well, well sure. You know what the hell? What am I supposed to do? Would be now. You know, seriously. <laughs> uh, the Masters is coming up soon, and that means well. last year's champ gets to inflict his country's ridiculous and unedible food choices for the uh, champions' dinner. Yeah, the champions' menu. John Rom is Spanish. Uh oh. So it's Espanol food this year. Yeah. Like ibaricos. I know. See, that's a problem. When they start doing stuff that it could be like the innards of a sheep's ear. I'll tell you. you know, it is. <laughs> Will you eat this? Acorn-fed ham and cured pork loin. 
I eat pork. Yeah, I like oh, pork. I eat loin. That. Absolutely. A pork loin is like tenderloin. A pork that's real tender, like a tenderloin steak. Oh, I okay. believe that's why they call it pork loin. I think it means that it's especially tender. Why is it called sirloin? I don't know. Because back in the Middle Ages, some guy that brought, I don't know if it was a king or somebody, but they brought some piece of meat to said, him. Sir, your loin. And he says, this is so good. And he, as a joke, he knighted it and called it sirloin. I'll be damned. And ever since then. Yeah. I believe your story. You do? Talk. Okay. <laughs> Stupidly. <laughs> I want to talk to you later about some real estate. Edi <laughs> uh, con trufa negra. Uh, the hand around. Okay. It's cheese and black truffle. Truffle's mushroom, right? I don't know. Uh, isn't a truffle a mushroom? I think it is. Yeah, it's a mushroom. Pigs dig it out of the ground. It's yeah. a, oh, you it's get a, big it's bucks. Thing. Yeah. In oh, fact, up in the oh, mountains, God, yeah. they do that. Oh, absolutely. With the pigs. Yes, they do. Uh, let's see. Lentejas estofadas. Mm -hmm. That's his mother, Mama Rom's classic lentil stew. Okay, so you, know, you got mushrooms and something, and then lentil, which is little, those little teeny beans. white little bean things. And yeah. well, mm, I'll try it. Ugh. I'll try it. What, what does he mean by stew, though? What's, what else is in the stew? Is there meat in the stew or it's, beef? Or it's Spain. What else do they have in Spain to put in there? I mean, you know, what the hell's in it? I don't know. I've never been to Spain. don't know. Well, that's not good. Ensalada de Jangero. Aha. An insolent bunch of carrots or something. <laughs> Basque crab salad. I like crab salad. Do you like Basque crab salad? I don't salad? know what that is. Basque is those people who lived in oh, northern I know the Spain. Spanish people, yeah, but, yeah. but does that mean it's spicy or not spicy, or I don't know. I don't know. I, I like crab salad. If it's got yeah. a lot of mayonnaise in it, I like a lot of I don't I like like it juicy. Salad. Oh, really? Oh. Those are just the tapas or appetizers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. The main course consists of chuleton a la parrilla. <laughs> which is a fancy name for ribeye. Yeah, oh, well, all right. All ribeye, right. so it can be a little, ribeye can be a little, um, uh, like, rubbery. If they're if they're right, if you get a ribeye and it's not really cooked through, it, it just wiggles back and forth when you try to cut it. Hey, Julia Child, I'm sorry. Anyway, yes, did we'll you know the bullion, she worked for the she worked for the CIA? You know that during World I do War Two? Yes, I do. You know the first recipe she made for them? I do not. Shark repellent for scuba divers. <laughs> but and, well, well, actually, the uh, sharks like were setting off stuff. the yeah. water mine, the mines underwater, yeah. inadvertently. So she she made something that they would Julia drive the Bay sharks says, away no from kidding. the mines. I'll be damned. Isn't that amazing? That's true story, Julia Childs. Yeah, you true. don't get that anywhere else no, in sir, Atlanta sports. Holy crap, it's sports. Uh, let's see. Rodabayo al Pilpil. -pil. Aha. Rodabayo, Rodabayo. <laughs> Roast something. Fish with white asparagus. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't eat. Mm, I, no. I like asparagus. I like asparagus. And here's your dessert: a lot of butter on it, puff Salt. puff pastry cake, custard, and chantilly cream. I will take that. Yeah, I would take that. Yeah, too. creamy custardy, creamy uh, uh, puff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let's see. Former Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh is now the head coach of the Chargers out in sunny L.A. So what's he going to do with all that cool swag he's accumulated in Ann Arbor the last few years? Uh -huh. What would you do? Well, I'd give it to a, a history player museum of, a, of of the university or sell it. No, you wouldn't. You'd hoard it like you hoard everything else. Well, I'd give it to my kids. Well, I, 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 my kids come first. What they want, they take. And anything else, I don't care. <laughs> they don't want anything. They don't want They anything. called me. They told no, me. They don't want anything. No, I got nothing. So, uh, so. <laughs> he is holding, Jim Harbaugh is holding a garage sale today. Good for him. That's funny. And there's a pic of he it. He needs the money. And yeah. I zoomed in. I go, that can't be what I'm seeing. And I zoomed in on the pic. He has an amazing, or did have an amazing collection of snow globes. Wow. <laughs> well, I, and again, I wonder what he's doing with them. With the, why would he even have people come into his house to look over his stuff? Oh, he ain't there. His wife's poor yeah. wife's having to do it. Wow. He's in L.A. pretending right. to be a coach or something. I guess. On this day, March 19th, 1915, the International Olympic uh, criminal president, Pierre de Coubertin, uh -huh. wrote to the Associated Press to say that the 1960 uh, Games won't going to take place. Or really? will not be take place yeah. because of World War I. Uh -huh. Guess where they were going to be held? Uh, Grenoble. Nope, Berlin. Munich. I was going to say Munich. Berlin. Who knew that invading France would put a damper on the Olympic spirit? Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, 1956, the biggest NBA margin of victory up to that time. The Minnesota Lakers beat your St. Louis Hawks 133-75. to 75. Wow. <laughs> so even in 1956, the Holy. Hawks set the bar low. You beat them by almost 100 points? I mean, let's see. <laughs> well, okay, well, we've got 33 and 25. Yeah. So that's uh, 58. Yeah, that's a That's lot. since been smashed. That record's been yeah. broken, yeah. you know, a couple times, wow. I think. Well, I keep playing. 1960, NCAA basketball championship. Ohio State beat Cal 75 to 55 for the lounge suite. Yeah. Or what Jay has in the box. Yeah. What Buckeyes future Hall of Fame forward was named the tournament's 
mop our most outstanding most player. Outstanding player. This is what year? 1960. Uh, um, McMillan. Nate McMillan? Nate McMillan. Uh, I just picked a name out of a long time ago in my head. Nate's <laughs> not a, that old. I know he's a basketball player, but I was... Didn't I he know. coach the Hawks? Uh, Bob Cousy. No. Bob Cousy was in the pros by then, 1960. Uh, okay. Well... Uh, Dolph Shays. I That's played pretty basketball good. with Dolph Shays. No, let me give you a hint. Syracuse Nats. Let me give you a hint that will help your memory. Okay, memory, I need help. He's a memory expert. Or, oh. Or, or was. He wrote several. I wrote. I oh, read Kreskin? one of his books. No, no, I read one of his books. He's a bass. Yeah, Kreskin <laughs> was the most outstanding player in the 1960 NCAA men's basketball tournament. Well, you gave me a clue. That's where he got the name Amazing. That's my clue. <laughs> the Amazing Kreskin. Mem- uh, God. No, led no, I- Ohio State. To the national championship, <laughs> I probably should know this. But you should I, know it. He was. A, I read one of his books on memory of how do you memorize things. I still use it to this day. What, I he, what he taught know me. This and I don't. I'm going to kill. He may thing. not be with us anymore. I think he, he passed away. But maybe he's still with us. I, I, I have to give up. Jerry Lucas. Oh no, kidding. Remember him? Oh sure, absolutely. He's a good player. Yeah, absolutely. Right. L. A. I think he played. Gosh, where did Lucas play? The Lakers. I, I want to say Lakers, Lakers, but I'm not. Let me look him up. I've right got, here. I'm, I'm a, a, a hazy memory. Uh, Five thirty. By, by Pete, I still have right. two sports birthdays. Hit me and four sports memorabilia moments. Well, before you do that, yeah. he is still alive. He played for the Knicks and ah. the, and the Royals. Where did the Royals play? Was it in Kansas City? They may have moved there, but that baseball teams of Kansas City Royals, yeah. Cincinnati Royals. I'll be damned. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. I'll be there. Now, Flounder, we have to take a hard break here at 530, or can I do my sports birthday? No, do your sports. All right. Uh, well, no, no, no I you know your sports. sports are good. He's All still right. alive, too, by the way, Jerry Lewis. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's see. On this day, uh, 1995, Michael Jordan made his NBA comeback and rejoined the Chicago Bulls after leaving basketball more than a year to become mediocre Major League Baseball player. Sorry, it says that here. Uh, Michael Jordan, when he came back, used his junior high school number, number 45, because 23 was retired. When he went yeah. back to play with the then Bulls. Then he went back to t- <laughs> Then he went back. Uh, that was 95. And then uh, <clears throat> uh, 1966, Texas Western. First, uh, Pete knows this, first NCAA basketball team to start five black guys and win the national championship. They upset the all-white favorites from Kentucky, including Pat Riley. And Adolph Rupp was the I'm, coach. I'm not happy. happy. Yeah, not happy. <laughs> uh, and uh, quick birthdays, uh, Andy Reid, Kansas City coach, 66. Clayton Kershaw, the baseball pitcher, 36. Buffalo Sabres of the NHL set a record scoring nine goals in one period against Toronto in 1981. And 1991, Brett Hull of the St. Louis Blues, only the third NFL NHL player to score 80 goals in one season. <laughs> Holy crap, it's sports with Pete Davis. Kim and Flounder, look out at 5, 532. Here we go. Stand by, stand by. Phone call. The legend, Neil Bortz, is only on Extra 106.3. Hey, it's Pete, and here's what you missed from the Talkmaster. White History Month, we have Women's Week, Women's Month, Black History Month. Can we please have a month in the media where we don't see the word trans? Catch Neil's commentary every day on Extra 106.3 or listen anytime on the Extra 106.3 app. This is Dan Watkins with All Four Seasons. We've always been Atlanta's best at installing and servicing garage and entry doors. But you would be surprised at how many windows we've installed as well. So we're proud to announce a new division, All Four Seasons Windows. We now have the ability to make sure every opening in your house is safe, energy efficient, and looks darn good. So give us a call today to schedule your free sales consultation. Find out how you can decrease your energy bills and increase the beauty and value of your home with All Four Seasons Garage, Entry Doors, and Windows. Atlanta is marked for the safe house. And now, the security riddle of the day. What's less secure than a fake safe from a furniture big box store? Joe Biden's fake border policy, of course. But hey, there is good news. This time next year, Joe Biden will not be president. So drop right at Atlanta Safe House and check out the largest selection of safes in the Southeast. Build a wall around your valuables with a safe from the safe house. We have certified delivery crews to install your safe. With over 30 years in the safe business, the safe house is the place to buy safe in Georgia. So go to atlantasafehouse.com. 
At the Piedmont Bank, we're proud to be one of Georgia's largest community banks, focusing on serving businesses and the communities they serve. With headquarters right here in Metro Atlanta, our tailored banking expertise and solutions help meet the diverse needs of our customers so they have what it takes to grow, expand, and thrive. It's what elevates us above the rest. Find a location near you at Piedmont.Bank and experience elevated banking for you and your business. The Piedmont Bank. Banking elevated. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. It's a mad world out there, but one thing is certain, everyone is trying to market something. So tune in every Saturday at 3 p.m. to the Marketing Mad Men, who, along with a variety of industry expert guests, can help you make sense of it all. Whether you own a business and want tips to scale, or are a fan of the finer things in life and want to know how restaurants, golf courses, and wine companies try to sell you stuff, the Marketing Mad Men is your ultimate destination for all things marketing. Tune in right here on Extra 106.3 every Saturday at 3 p.m. or search online for more content. Join the madness with the Marketing Mad Men. Millions of guys suffer from erectile dysfunction. That's one in four men. And I can tell you, I'm one of them. If you or someone you know suffer from ED, Peroni's disease, or PE, here's 38-year emergency room doctor and founder of Total Body Therapy of Georgia, Dr. Eric Deal. Patients who enter my office are often frustrated, hopeless, depressed, and embarrassed. I understand the problem, and I'm going to help you fix it. There are lots of competitors that don't have the credentials that I have. When you go to other clinics, you're not going to see board-certified physicians with the experience that I have. When you come to our clinic, you're going to see me. There's just not one therapy that can solve these complex issues. I'll do a complete history and physical prior to any treatment that we use. Take it from me, Dr. Deal. When it's not hard, it's really hard. Call Dr. Deal for your free one-on-one evaluation and resolve your ED, peronies, or PE issues. Total Body Therapy of Georgia, 404-777-1911. 404-777-1911. Online at StopMyED.com. Hey, so that's uh, something going on with your computer there today, <laughs> man. Uh, 535, how you doing? Kim Repeat and Flounder and Bob Dylan. Okay. Nineteen sixty two, Bob Dylan's debut album, Bob Dylan, was released in America. Initially, poor sales led the record to be known around Columbia Records as Hammond's Folly. John Hammond was the producer and the man responsible for signing Bob Dylan, and they thought he'd made a terrible mistake. The album was praised by the New York City weekly newspaper Village Voice as the explosive country blues debut, but it featured only two of Dylan's original compositions, Talk in New York and Song to Woody, the rest being old folk standards. Bob Dylan, 1962. This is Talk in New York right Talk here. Talk in New York. And the Village Voice basically helped him continue. And again, it was 62 when I saw Bob Dylan barefoot in the farmer's overalls with Judy Collins. Just uh, heard this the, yesterday. Bingo. I know, but again, what are the chances of Bob Dylan, 1962? I saw him that summer. Not as good as hearing that story again well, two days I mean, in a row. But I, was, I saw him that summer at the Boys Club. Good, we know that. Well, okay. So, I it's, mean, it was the it, same it, year. It was, it, it was like, could have been two weeks from right this moment. It's but. been burned into our memory that you saw him <laughs> How in How many overalls? people get to see... <laughs> Sorry. Well, well, I don't have much, okay? <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to go home and say, hi, I'm honey, I'm home, and do a darkened stairwell. And the least I can do is have a nice memory once in a while. And hope to God to meet that elevator girl when I go there at 6.15 it's, tonight. I swear to God. If she, <laughs> never going to happen again. I know. It's never. over. <laughs> She's going to wait till she sees you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, was, gotta, that, was that close? She's, She's going to call her dad probably, to walk her to her car every day. She's probably up in her car praying, thanking God that I didn't do anything. <laughs> Someone Walk me to my car. <laughs> uh, Five thirty-seven, I think. God, I don't even what know. Uh, birthday list. Uh, what about uh, Clarence Frogman Henry? Eighty-seven years old. Clarence Frogman Henry. I, for, I was going to have Flounder play one of his songs, and I forgot. You, you know who? The, uh, the frog song. Loved hearing that story of Bob Dylan who? two days in a row. But, Susan, who's been on hold for oh my, thirty minutes. Well, Susan, every every Friday, Susan, <laughs> dear dear bless you, sweet babe. I just uh, you're the best minutes. ever. I hope you're still there every Friday, Susan. <laughs> I'm so like sorry. Is this like is this like Rick the Painter treatment when I'm on hold? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You got two callers in a three hour show. You make a call for an hour. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so oh, I'm bad. I'm not good. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I, I'm just teasing. I just had a comment on that last call, uh, caller. My blood was boiling. So does that last caller really think during this whole kangaroo court, they had actual bank executives testify under oath saying that Trump paid all everything, all the loans, millions and millions, probably tens of millions of dollars of loans. He paid them um, on time. Yeah. He never defaulted. He didn't. They didn't feel like they were defrauded. I believe they testified under oath that they said they didn't feel like they were defrauded. Also, too, when you are applying for a loan that's a million, two, five, fifty million, don't you have to have like properties if you're using them as assets like appraised collateral to yeah. begin with yeah so they all, that, yeah. that last caller doesn't even know what he's talking about you yeah. think he's trump's gonna walk into a bank and say hey i, I want to borrow 50 million and i Chicago's worth, you know, a half a billion dollars, and you're going to take my word for it. It doesn't work like that. Even with people that we know are savvy and builders and and rich, it doesn't work like that. I know. Every Friday, Susan, the reason he did it, once again, he was not being serious about any question to talk about anything involving Trump or anything else. He was a liberal who wanted to come on this radio station on my program and get us worked up, which he did. (laughs) And it's successful. Unfortunately, that's what I was telling Flounder. I just finished a beautiful day. I just finished like a 60-minute run. And you could tell he was he had an agenda because he he used the word con and Trump. I don't know. He used the yeah. word con at least a half a dozen times. Yeah, that but was, anyway, that was thanks goal. for letting me hold for now. I just had to get that out. <laughs> I owe you big every Friday, Susan. I, I'm making up to you somehow. Uh, 530, uh, 540, 540, 540. And, and speaking of uh, Pete, uh, Scott uh, is joining us here with a, a question or a comment, I think, about holy crap at sports. Hey, Scott, thanks for holding yourself, sir, and Welcome aboard. What's up? Hey, Cameron, you got me all wound up so much that I got two questions for Pete. All right, sir. So Pete, the uh, the guy who jumped off the balcony. <laughs> how close did he come to the pool? Uh, well, maybe he was trying for the pool. I, I, that was my first question. Was he trying player. to make the pool? I, mean, I think we've exactly. all done that. Exactly. And then, yeah. and then the next one, and you can hang up on me after this. Okay. Is it true yeah. that the Masters dinner is going to be shut down by the Green New Deal due to the amount of flatulence emitted from the 19th hole? <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> those, those are the burning yeah, those questions are, those by are Scott. Questions, all right. <laughs> I don't have an answer to either one of those well, questions. Well, I wonder whether the Arab red hand paint uh, uh, protesters are going to show up at the Masters this year. Afghani when yeah. they were Afghani They showed today. up at the Afghanistan hearing today. Pete, no, I, I thought they were going to be the, uh, well, the, the hearing of the Afghanistan withdrawal disaster treats and its traitorous uh, uh, generals were being grilled on it today. And unfortunately, Fox didn't cover much of it live, which is very disappointing. They did for a while, like early in the afternoon, like at one o'clock, they covered it for about an hour and then they dumped it mostly uh, the day. Anyway, uh, so they were testifying about this. What the hell was I just making my... I was going to make my point. I can't remember. The now. red-handed. Oh, the red-handed thing. And, and so uh, some people in the background were being escorted out by the police, and they were holding up their red hands, red-painted hands, like bloody hands. And I was I was thinking, of, first of all, I said, oh, my God, those are the families, the uh, Gold Star families, uh, showing that the Pentagon has blood on its hands. And Pete, unfortunately, brought me back to reality. You know, see, see, my whole head was of this hearing and the people protesting and the families and the disaster and the treatment that they've given this country and how they feel about veterans and everything else and pete of course brought me back to reality no no it's uh the jew haters yeah that's the jew haters had nothing to do with the military what? nothing to do with that you know the the uh, afghanistan withdrawal yeah dead they're, they're afghanis well yeah, they're uh, mad at the military yeah, but it Biden. if they were if they were having a hearing to, to show how, how wonderful it was they would have done this i mean they're showing every chance they get anything to do with international stuff and working with foreign uh, i don't think it had anything to do with the israeli thing i think they're mad because their their country got screwed well but here we go again it's the red the, these pro- red hand protesters uh in fact i was going to talk about the in fact, i may i may have time well, by God, hold on a second. It's your show? Do uh, it. The, um, oh, oh, that's the Albert Science American. Oh, so where's the thing on the, uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> if it was up here, you know. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, fr- this, this, this is a flashback to what happened at the Oscars uh, some uh, just fairly recently. Deborah Messing and 450 other Jewish entertainers are really freaking upset about what happened at the Oscar ceremony when the director for the Zone of Interest, Jonathan Glazer, uh, did his acceptance speech. And uh, Deborah Messing, Michael Rappaport, a bunch of people saying we refute our Jewishness being hijacked 
for the purpose of drawing a moral equivalence between a Nazi regime that sought to exterminate a race of people and an Israeli nation that seeks to avert its own extermination. Every civilian death in Gaza is tragic, but Israel is not targeting civilians. It is targeting Hamas. The moment Hamas releases the hostages and surrenders is the moment this heartbreaking war ends. And that's been true since the Hamas attacks of October 7th. And they were, uh, uh, Deborah Messing and others saying, the use of the words like occupation to describe the indigenous Jewish people defending their homeland dating back thousands of years, recognized by the United Nations, distorts history. It gives credence to the modern blood libel that fuels a growing anti-Jewish hatred around the world. Hmm. And they woke it up. Yeah. They had they were wearing those red pins of red bloody hands, mm-hmm. which is we hate the Jews. You're killing innocent Hamas civilians. That, that's what those hands mean. And they were doing it. And the guy, the guy's speech was about that very thing. And they're saying, we're not taking this anymore. I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable. Uh, 544. And I'll, I'll come in. A, by the way, a couple of quick, weird crime stories I want to get to. And, uh, and and again another so oh, in fact before I go uh, t- talk about international stuff and and, uh, and 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 President Biden's administration in case you missed it earlier libs of TikTok I love these people they have come out on my phone to showed up on X on Twitter uh, libs of TikTok Andy Lynn Blair her life cut short by Biden's border bloodbath had picture of her. Uh, Deborah Brandeo, her life cut short by Bly- Biden's border bloodbath. A picture of a, a young mother with two kids and the, and the immigrant the illegal invader who killed her. Aiden Clark, life cut short by Biden's border bloodbath. A picture of the little boy playing Little League Baseball and the um, illegal invader who murdered him. You know the real bloodbath is? Lives in TikTok says it's illegals invading our country and committing murder. Remember their names and they start off the list with Lake and Riley. In Biden's world, these are acceptable losses. He knows American citizens no longer support him, so he tossed them and brought in new friends. And there's a logo that spells B-I-D-E-N. B-I-D and N are spelled in dark blue letters. The E is spelled with a bloody red palm, fingers extended to look like an E. Biden with a bloody hand, all right. And it's not for what they're claiming. God, 546, Kim Pete and Flounder on 106.3. Look out. Atlanta Radio Legends Collide on Extra 106.3. The legend Neil Bortz is live every week with Atlanta legend The Kimmer. Because when you get these two guys together, who knows where we'll end up? I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. The Kimmer is live on your drive home every weekday afternoon from 3 to 6. And now Neil Bortz joins this show every week. And if you miss it, catch up anytime on the Extra 106.3 app. Hi, I'm Mark Beckham with Atlanta Ramjack. We specialize in only foundation repair. What is foundation repair? Foundations sink or settle. These issues need to be addressed. It only becomes more costly the longer you put it off. What is the biggest cause of foundation problem? Either poor construction, inferior site preparation, or weather. Drought causes cracks in your foundations. If you see any signs of foundation issues, please contact us at atlantaramjack.com. Stephen, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, we can't offer you the position. Why? Well, we ran your background check and there were several red flags. Like what? You were arrested seven times for reckless driving. So? So you're applying for the school's bus driver position. If you're in charge of hiring for your company, you know how helpful a background screening can be. That's why companies that use Horizon background screening make smarter hiring decisions. Don't let the wrong hire put your company at risk. Get the real story on your candidates at horizonscreening.com. Horizonscreening.com. I enjoy a good night's sleep, and I like to breathe while I'm sleeping. My wife appreciates that, too. That's why I wear a CPAP. You want the right machine. You want expert advice. You want all the supplies that go with it. You get it all at CPAPs, etc. in Alpharetta. Machines, masks, tubing, filters, cleaning supplies, all of it, and they ship nationwide. Walk-ins, by the way, are welcome. CPAPs, etc. Alpharetta, CPAPSETC.com. 
Join a Second Chance Bail Bond CEO Daniel Madelon and host Tug Coward for the weekly radio show Back Your Blue. They will highlight special initiatives, criminal justice programs, and community events aimed at keeping our communities safer. Tune in Saturdays at 10 a.m. to learn some good news about and from the law enforcement and justice communities. Tune in on Saturdays or catch up on all past episodes wherever you get your podcasts or at the podcastpark.com. Introducing Sonder Health Plans, your trusted local partner for Medicare Advantage in Georgia. Only in Georgia. With Sonder, you'll get comprehensive coverage that's tailored to your needs. They offer $0 primary care visits, $0 premiums, and access to a wide network of Georgia health care providers. Visit SonderHealthPlans.com now to learn more about their valued-based care that won't break the bank. Or call 888-428-4440. Sonder Health Plans, your doctors, your name. Neighbors, your friends. What are your plans for your business this year? Hey, it's Tug. Do you want to expand and grow? Are you exhausted by going to lenders, building a relationship, and a week later, you got a new person to deal with? You have to start all over again? You don't have that with First Liberty Building and Loan. The Frost family has been helping businesses grow since the 90s, and they want to know you. Unlike big banks, they want to partner with you. The Frost family knows the patterns. They know the ebbs and flows. They know business. Get to know them at FirstLibertyGA.com. Building a building? Buying a building? Buying a franchise? Expanding? Reach out to them. Spend 10 minutes with them. See if you're a fit for them and if they're a fit for you. You do that at FirstLibertyGA.com. And by the way, if you're a young banker and want to work with a team that is faith-friendly and has a culture of excellence, First Liberty might be a good match. Reach out to them today. First Liberty Building and Loan. FirstLibertyGA.com. That's FirstLibertyGA.com. The 2024 season is just around the corner, and the Braves' home schedule is jam-packed with great matchups and even better promotions. The Braves open at home against the defending NLCS champion Arizona Diamondbacks April 5th through the 7th, followed by the New York Mets April 8th through the 11th. The Braves will honor all of their 2023 award winners in a special pregame ceremony on April 6th, and on April 8th, the Braves will then honor the 50th anniversary of Hank Aaron's record-breaking 715th home run with a special Hank Aaron bobblehead giveaway together with Truist. There's a new home run champion of all time, and it's Henry Aaron. And the second half of April continues with another great giveaway featuring Ronald Acuna Jr.'s 2023 stolen bases record bobblehead giveaway presented by Xfinity on April 24th. And two blooper kids giveaways on April 21st and the 28th. Visit Braves.com slash promos to get your tickets and check out all of the fun planned this April. Atlanta Braves baseball. We are Braves country. Of course, neighborhood and stuff. I really like the drive. Oh, yeah. Hello, 551. How you doing? Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder on 106.3. And uh, I'm on, who is this? I don't know who this is. Uh, Tom Petty. I'm Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. This is just a generic rejoin because I... Well, well, we had one a lot last of the, A lot of the music history today sucked. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. Man, no, by the way, you can just you know, pick oh, really? your favorite songs. You know, they whatever suck, you want. You're and you boss. still managed to work in the Jefferson... Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how bad it was, huh? Well, I love that song, as you know. Uh, let's well, see, it was let's either see. that or the Osmonds. Well, oh, well, no, God. Dude. Osmonds! Uh, Donny uh, Osmond? Yes! No. Oh, please. Over Star... Over <laughs> Starship? <laughs> yeah. Yes! I got a great promo out of that. Uh, I'll oh, bet. <laughs> Atlantic uh, Station. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the time, remember at the time, they were bragging about what a one yeah. boy, this is going to save Atlanta. Atlantic Station is opening the, the grand opening, and then it turns out, you know, it costs you like eight hundred dollars to park your car, and you know, and people are stealing oh, stuff. I mean, it was a nightmare. I used to go to movies Crime. over there. And you, had to, you had to park underneath, yeah. and I'll tell you what, after doing yeah. that twice, no, no. never yeah, again. Yeah, danger and yeah. expensive. Well, that was Jesus. the that was the whole yeah, concept behind Atlantic condos. Station was parking yeah, under right. under everything. It's, yeah, well, it's like a bat cave, under there. and you get lost. <laughs> oh man! Anyway, it, and. You know, I, well, anyway, I used to have fun with it, and I'd do it to that song, so it's kind of cool. Uh, no stay in history, a couple things. Uh, 1687, French explorer LaSalle was in the Gulf of Mexico searching for the mouth of the Mississippi River when he was murdered by his own men. Peter <laughs> Meyer ticked off of him. The smoking lamp was not lit, apparently. So I don't know. Uh, America's first recorded bank robbery on this day, 1831. Crooks robbed the City Bank of New York in of two hundred forty-five thousand dollars in nine in eighteen thirty-one money. Hmm. 
Holy cow. And by the way, one um, uh, oh, one quick military thing. I guess the military on a day when they're talking about the Afghanistan withdrawal. In uh, 1916, World War One, the first American air combat with those newfangled mm-hmm. airplanes in 1916. They were eight Curtis Jenny planes Jenny's. from the 1st Aero Squadron supporting 7,000 American troops invading Mexico to capture Pancho Villa. And on this day in history in 1919... It seemed like a great idea. The naval base around Newport, Rhode Island, sailors were consorting inappropriately, not with ladies, but with each other. There was a court of inquiry held, and on this day in 1919, it was concluded the government's got to uh, do anything with any expense and any time necessary to conduct a most thorough and searching investigation. So here's what they did. Uh, who would be the intrepid fact finders? Why, other sailors, of course. The head of an investigation, a good-looking man, somewhere between 1924, would be best suited for this class of work with reference to perverts, unquote. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the assistant secretary of the Navy and future president. He signed off on the deal saying, you know, we'll get these young operatives take to their task with patriotic zeal. The sailors they netted were then court-martialed with these secret agents providing lurid testimony of their encounters because they were told uh, to provide positive proof by actually engaging with the targeted men and intimately and made them have sex with the guys to prove that they were gay. The Navy expanded the trap to nab Newport civilians as well. Then they ran into trouble. (laughs) <laughs> a local minister got arrested. And, and so his friends and supporters sent an outrage letter to President Woodrow Wilson and was printed in the Providence Journal. It must be evident to every thoughtful mind that the use of such vile methods cannot fail to undermine the character and ruin the mor- morals and unfortunate youths uh, detailed for this duty, rendered no citizen of the community safe from suspicion and calumny, calumny, I guess it is, uh, bring the city into unwarranted reproach and shake the faith of the people and the wisdom and integrity of the Naval Administration. Well, they had official hearings culminating in a Senate investigation, and guess what? Uh, it was not homosexual sailors in the crosshairs, but the methods they used to root them out. And Roosevelt was sharply rebuked for his part in what the investigating committee called a most deplorable, disgraceful, and unnatural proceeding. Holy 1919. Hmm. We want you to investigate this. Yeah. Well, how will I prove it? <laughs> well, well, yeah. you're gonna have to take well, one for the team. You're not gonna like. You're, <laughs> you're not, not gonna, gonna like, like Thursdays. Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> sure, night in the barrel. Oh my God, man! <laughs> oh mercy. Oh, and by the way, a quick story out of Denver. Denver, liberal city, Denver. And they passed the law because, you remember the George Floyd business? Uh, they passed a law in Colorado uh, after the George Floyd case, which gave citizens the right to sue police officers. Well, a 78-year-old grandmother was minding her own business in her house a, a couple of years ago when all of a sudden she heard a loudspeaker saying, come out of your house with your hands up. She walked out wearing a bathrobe. The cops were there with rifles and a canine dog flanking her property. And, and, she, and, she's, and he, he said, I, she said, I don't have a gun. He said, why would I have a gun? She says, well, we're here to get the guns. We're in the pickup truck for the thief and -and so-and-so. They had the wrong address on a phone app. Mm-hmm. They got the wrong place. So uh, she said, they put her in the back of a police car. She said, here's my garage door opener. Instead of using the garage door opener, they used a battering ram to break down her door and its frame of the garage. And then they went inside the house, broke the head off some cherished figurines made to look like her, took a broom handle, and smashed through the ceiling so they could go into the attic. Well, the judge has just given her $4 million. (laughs) It was the wrong house, plus the way they treated her. She said, here, use the clicker. Well, we got the machine. God, anyway. Uh, 557. Holy comedy, we're almost out of time. Uh, in fact, we're we're going to be out of time in a couple of seconds. <laughs> I found it. Well, you little founder's funny here before we go. You travel a lot. A lot of crazy things happen on the road. This is the one story I tell everybody because I'm still mad about it. Because I had to apologize for something I didn't do wrong. And I don't know about you all, but that's my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> I was traveling through Michigan, I had to use the bathroom, so I stopped at a Speedway gas station, and I realized that's my first mistake, and I own that. <laughs> and it was a one-person bathroom. Don't worry, this isn't gross. It's a one-person bathroom. Which, you know, it's just the sink and the, and the toilet and the hand. You've been in the bathroom, you know. <laughs> And I popped open the door, and boom, there was a man sitting on the pot reading the paper. <laughs> Not happy to see me, and he yelled at me. He goes, someone's in here. I go, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I felt terrible. 
felt awkward. <laughs> but then the longer I stood there, I'm like, I apologized. And I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> so obviously, I had to stick my head back in there and go, this is, this is on you. You did this to me. I didn't ask for any of this. Lock it up. And who reads the paper anymore? Get out your phone and play Candy Crush like an adult. It's interesting what he said to me, though. I realized this later on. Someone's in here. I realized this. The bathroom is the only place and the only room in the house where we do not refer to ourselves in the first person. <laughs> Have you ever realized that? Any other room. I'm Who's in, in the basement? Here. I'm in the basement. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in bed reading a book. But if it's the bathroom, someone is in here. <laughs> That's a very amusing take. I, I've Good never point. thought about that. Who's that guy, Flounder? You know who that is? Uh, that is Mr. Sean Reynolds. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. By the way, I saw most of the movie of uh, the other guys that you were talking about. That's a very funny Funny it's movie. so funny. It's a, I mean, it was beautiful. The, the takes and the double takes. It was beautiful. Really well done. <laughs> he did done. it to us again. Yeah, uh, very well. <laughs> 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 anyway, God bless America. Who runs every fight? Only Kimber got to go Kimber. Pete and Flounder. Who runs tomorrow, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Look out. Start your day the right way.